Good evening, everyone, and we welcome you into Dolphin Stadium, home of Hilton Head Prep, where tonight the Covert Air Bowl Series continues with the Rival County Bowl as the Dolphins of Hilton Head Prep take on the Rebels of Thomas Hayward Academy. I'm Chris Tremblay along with Chuck Zayback. Chuck, both teams are coming off an opening game loss. That means they want to get back in the win column real bad. And that to score some points. So early in the season where you see the biggest improvement is usually in the offense, and that's what I think we're going to see today. One of these teams had an extra week to work on. They had a chance to look at the film, had all their starters in there. So I think what we're going to see tonight are teams that can move the ball and score points. Hayward Academy scored eight points last week. Prep only scored seven. Even though they didn't score many points, that's not always an indicator of what we're going to see tonight. Well, there was a lot of, I looked at the stats for prep, and they had almost 300 yards of offense. That's what I'm saying. They're, they're going to score some points if they're able to put, put it, do another 300 yards of offense. So it should be interesting to see what happens. When we come back in a minute, we're going to have Coach Nick Schufert of Hayward Academy right after this. Did you know that 90% of the energy created by old-fashioned light bulbs is given off in heat? You're making heat and creating more work for your air conditioner. Save 75% or more with CFL or LED light bulbs in all of your fixtures. An energy tip from Covert Air. Down south we sit my dog singing a song about a salt dog. Honey, won't you be the salt dog? One of the challenges I faced with picking a college was I'm a full-time firefighter, so I knew I would struggle with being able to take classes. TCL offers a flexible schedule and I was able to complete 90% of my classes online. I earned a business degree in fire administration. I'm currently a lieutenant with the City of Buford Town of Port Royal Fire Department. I'm Ross and I made it happen no matter what. If you need new appliances, we invite you to visit Billywood Appliance. Whether your needs are for the kitchen, laundry room, or patio, we have you covered. Our live showroom enables you to experience appliances from more than 50 manufacturers, including Wolf, Sub-Zero, Gin Air, and Whirlpool. You can literally try before you buy. Only selling appliances, our experienced staff recommends the best products based upon your needs. We offer competitive pricing, delivery, and factory certified installers. Visit our convenient Mid-Island showroom or see us on the web at Billywood. Joined by Coach Nick Schufert of Thomas Hayward Academy. Coach, thanks so much for spending a little time with us. Appreciate y'all being out here. Played a good game last week. Things just didn't quite fall like you wanted to at the end. Yeah, um, our guys gave it all they had. Um, we made a bunch of mistakes, but the effort was there. And, you know, if we can get that same effort every week, then we'll be pleased. Coach, what do you do after a loss like that starting this week? What do you, what do you tell your players and how do you get them ready for today's game? Got to have short memories. Um, you know, got to. <laughs> be mad about it Friday night and get back to work on Monday. Um, and that's what we did. I thought we did a great job of just getting right back to work Monday um, afternoon. It's still early in the season, Coach. I know you haven't had a chance to put much of the playbook in, but what do you see for tonight? Do, do you, are you going to be able to run some better defenses you ran last week or offensive? What's your, what's your focus? I'm hoping the offense can play a little better than we did last week. Um, defense did pretty good holding Ridgeland to 12. Um, but offense, we've, we've got to step it up and, and do a better job offensively. Now, you ran for over 300 yards last week, so the running game obviously was working. Running game worked at times. Um, you know, we've just got to be able to pick up those key first downs and, and finish in the red zone. It's been a tough summer this year for practice. Obviously, this month of August has been really, really warm. What have you done to compensate for that and get your team ready? Uh, we've been practicing a little later in the evening and, and taking plenty of water breaks, obviously, but um, it's been pretty brutal so far. Coach, tonight, kicking is always important. What, how do you see your kicking game for tonight's game? Well, if we're going with this wind, I feel pretty good. Yeah. Um, going against it, I don't know. That's a pretty <laughs> stiff breeze. But, uh, no, CJ, CJ's a good place kicker for us, and uh, Roman will do a good job punting. Nick, thanks so much for spending some time with us. Best of luck tonight. Appreciate it. Thank good you. Good luck, Coach. Thanks. When we come back, we're going to have Dave Adams of Hilton Head Prep right after this. Home is that magical spot where weekends happen. It's tea parties and superheroes. It's one more bedtime story. It's your first, your last, and everything in between. Home is where you belong. We get it. Whether it's your first home, your next home, or your dream home, we want to build you the very best home for your life. Let us help you get started. VillagePartHomes.com. Close to everything. Far from ordinary. 
I want my kids to have access to health care I can trust. That's why I'm glad I chose Blue Choice Health Plan Medicaid. They coordinate my family's healthy connection services, remind me to get my kids shots and checkups, and give me approved added benefits like a car seat at no cost. That sure makes it easier to get the right health care for me and my kids. Get the care you need when you need it with Blue Choice Health Plan Medicaid. Mike Rickenball Chevrolet is proud to support high school football. I'm Mike Rickenball and our game is on with the special offer for football fans. The new 2017 Chevy Silverado featuring high strength steel that delivers. Save up to 20% off MSRP at Mike Rickenball Chevrolet. Dependable, confident performance. Chevrolet Silverado. Nobody says trucks like Mike Rickenball Chevrolet. Before you buy, give us a try. Find new roads. Big Equity Ventures is looking to purchase your commercial or residential real estate assets, commercial income producing businesses, new luxury car dealerships for sale, or any other appraisable asset currently worth and currently valued at over $2 million or more that is owned free and clear by highly motivated and cooperative sellers. For more information, contact us now. Visit our website at BigEquityLLC.com, email us at info at BigEquityLLC.com, or call us at 404-514-3109. Joining us is Coach Dave Adams of Hilton Head Prep. First of all, Dave, thanks so much for spending a few minutes with us before the game. Sure, glad to be here. Obviously, no team wants to start out 0-2. You had a tough week last week. Kind of summarize for us what happened. Well, we knew last week was a tough week. That's our one three opponent we have, Orangeburg, dressed at about 40. Very hot, about 105 at kickoff with the heat index. 0-0 zero, zero first quarter. So when our kids were fresh, they played them pretty much you know, player for player. In the second quarter, made three mistakes. Uh, a fumble punt return and a fumble kickoff return and, a, and one long pass, gave up 19. Third quarter, two scores to one, and in the fourth quarter, like I said, just the numbers got to Fatigue us. Fatigue got to you. Oh, no question. They were, subbing, they were subbing in the first quarter, playing for the whole game. We didn't have that luxury. Coach, well, you know, typically your teams are very well coached. What do you have to do tonight to win tonight's game or today's game? You know, if we eliminate mistakes, if we eliminate mistakes, and, and, and the other thing is, if our kids can, that fatigue factor again, it's no mm -hmm. question what that does mentally to us as soon as they start getting tired, and that causes the mistakes, and mistakes kind of snowball. Anything you could have done before in the, in the preseason and training, or, or your guys came in pretty good shape, it's just the heat, and you have a small roster? It's, it's been two things. Well, we've had so much heat and had so much rain, mm -hmm. our practice time has really been cut down this year. Yeah. So I feel like these first two games are almost like preseason to get to our open week next week to get to John Paul to start our season. Yeah. We talked before we came on air about the challenge you've had this year with returning players mm. in general on the offensive and defensive side. Why don't you tell everybody at home about that? It was a surprise. When you look at our roster, only one returning player on offense, and he's a sophomore, one returner. Only three returners on defense, and um, out of the whole team, only eight people off of last year's roster on this team. It Coach, is a new face. It's a new face, a new team. It's got to be challenging, Coach. I mean, what do you do? You cut down the playbook? Well, right now we don't have – I feel like we're about 30% in to where we want to be in about four or five games from now. Mm -hmm. and, and, again, getting those new kids accustomed to, to what you're doing and, and, and the lingo and the plays and everything. So, right now we're just now starting to get into it a little bit. Well, Coach, I've seen your teams in the past, and I, know that I think they can do it. Well, it, we are, you see on offense, we are timing offense, and if the timing's not there, it throws everything off, and yeah. the timing has to be precise. Well, Coach, best of luck tonight. Thanks so much for spending a few minutes with us. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. When we come back, we're going to have the opening kickoff of the Covert Air Rival County Bowl right after this. Covert Air. Covert Air. We support the education and athletic programs for all of Beaufort County. Have a great year. For all your heating and air conditioning, no one can compare. Have you been hurt on the job, injured in a car accident, experiencing marital difficulties? Nairt and Dubois are attorneys located on the south end of Hilton Head Island. With their extensive experience and knowledge of the law, they can help you on your legal matter. Nairt and Dubois offer free initial consultation. So whether you have been hurt on the job, injured in a car accident, or experiencing marital difficulties, call the attorneys of Nairt and Dubois now to schedule an appointment to learn about your legal rights. Hi, I'm Colette Stevenson. And I'm Tom Reed with the Hilton Head Multiple Listing Service. Did you know you can search for homes in the same reliable database your local real estate professionals use? 
That's right, locating property for sale in the area or finding an agent is easy on HiltonHeadMLS.com or on the HHI MLS app, which is free. MLS is what makes the real estate market work, so when you're ready to move, connect with Hilton Head MLS. On behalf of all of the Hilton Head MLS members, we want to wish all of our local high school football teams a safe and successful football season. Hilton Head PSD offers convenient and secure online billing. Just have your PSD bill handy and click on the online bill payment button at hhpsd.com. You'll be guided through the steps to establish your online billing account. Their payment options allow you to set up recurring credit card payments, you can view your consumption history, and more. Remember to have your PSD bill handy when you visit hhpsd.com to get started. Hilton Head PSD, we're always working for you. I interviewed four or five companies, and Hilton Head Exterminators impressed me the most. Customer reviews like this are a result of Hilton Head Exterminators commitment, reputation, and tradition for five-star service. They are knowledgeable, timely, considerate, and provide exceptional service. Our experience with Hilton Head Exterminators has been excellent. What has been unique is their quality of service. Hilton Head Exterminators is the best. Combine all of our customer reviews into three words, and you get five-star service from Hilton Head Exterminators. High school football starts now. And we are ready to go here in the Rival County Bowl, presented by Covert Air. Thomas Hayward will be kicking off to Hilton Head Prep. And 21 is Hunter Hoppin. We have a pretty gusty breeze this evening. The breeze is blowing on your screen from left to right, so Prep will be working downwind here in the first quarter. And kicking off for Thomas Hayward is C.J. Cleland, and he gives it a boot into the wind, and it didn't look like it was going to go very far, and it looks like Prep's going to start just over their own 30-yard line. Wasn't that explosiveness of a kick, Chris, but it was very effective. Had a nice float underneath the ball, held it up and kicked it into a quarter, and the only thing you can do is catch it. You gotta remember, that's a live ball, too. The runner, that's exactly the right. Defender can run down there, and before the receiver touches it, he could have tried to intercept it, but uh, good heads up play by the up back for Prep. So Prep will take over, first and 10, just over the 31. Stone McDonald's starting quarterback. And it goes right to him, and he's going to air it out right away. And he was looking, he was looking for number one, Logan Thomas, on that. He overthrew him just a little bit. That'll bring up second and ten. Yeah, we got to set that offensive line for Hilton Head Prep. We got a left tackle Morris Johnson. He's only a junior, five foot nine, two ten, fifty eight. Brandon Campus. He's only a freshman, five nine, one hundred sixty five. Brad Kisser, five eight, two oh five. He's a freshman, number 51, he's the center. Trey Spear is a left, a right guard, and Morris Johnson is a right tackle. And McDonald flares it off to the right, and that's actually gonna lose a few yards. Number 21, Hunter Hopman was on the receiving end of that, a 5'8", 150 pound junior. Well, Early in the season, and what you really miss from the offensive teams are the, the efficiency in their passing game, just hasn't had the chance to click. That was a well-designed play, a little flare, just that the running, the running back, once he caught the ball, made the wrong cut. Third and long now. McDonald takes it, he's running to the left, and he's gonna get almost back to the original line of scrimmage, and that's gonna bring up fourth down for Prep. Yeah, nice, nice job in there by the Hayward defense. The linebacker stayed at home. You watch here, you'll see he gets run down. Number five makes a, number six makes a great play in there, is able to come up from his linebacker position and make the tackle. Well, that was Zach Bowen, number five, I'm sorry. So, prep ready to kick it away. And there's the boot kicking it downwind. Fair catch and we have a fair yards. catch made at, let's see where they're going to mark it. And Thomas Hayward Academy is going to start just past their own 35-yard line. 
Uh, that's the type of play to drive a cruise coach crazy, Nick Schufer. Which get a, get a, gets a, a kick where there was, wasn't really anybody around the receiver. It could have been returned probably for some pretty good yards, but it was a quick call by the, by the fellow catching the ball. Took the safe way out. Early, early in the game, he wants to make sure he doesn't do the old, <laughs> the old turn it over <laughs> real quick. So Thomas Hayward comes up now. That's not what Joe Paterno taught us. <laughs> That's how he Joe said, play, play with recklessness. And Logan Thomas is going to air it out right away. Just and like he's that. got, there goes number eight, Zach Black. Oh, what a play by Zach. And oh. And is he going to be down? He's going to be marked so down. Oh, oh my God. And a big pass play right out of the gates from Logan Thomas to Zach Black. And that was a fine throw, too, into the win as we check out the Salty Dog replay here. Well, check out Danny Ledee, number five. Where number two, the safety comes up, Stone McDonald. Is he the quarterback? He's no, the quarterback yeah, also, oh yes. Nice what a great Stone play by Stone McDonald. McDonald. So right away, it was a turnover, and Prep gets the ball back. Wow. That's one of the best plays I've seen. The quarterback wants oh, the ball back, Chuck. That's all there is to it. And McDonald hands it off. Not much of a running space there. Little crossback buck uh, play action back in the backfield. Almost caught back for a safety. It's one of those plays took a little bit of time to develop. In fact, from this angle, I thought it was a safety. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of operating room there for prep right now. Throw it. Second and nine now. And now we've got a little running room. First down, too. Well, yeah, maybe. It's number 22, John Tilton. Check out the Salty Dog replay here, Chuck. Oh, what a great job by the offensive line. You look over on the right side, Morris Johnson, number 72, and Trace Spear, number 57, throwing some great That was blocks. a big equity ventures, first down. Uh, line up over the ball, Brad Kisser, number 51. He's a spread, only a freshman snapping the ball. And a little flare pass out to the right there, incomplete. Intended target was Tommy Stauffer, the 5'8", 130-pound freshman. Prep will have second and 10 now. And that's one of the nice things, Chris, about playing in a small school like, like Prep and, and also with their, their opponent here, uh, Thomas Hayward, is that you can play as a freshman. You get a chance to get out yes. of the field, get some, uh, get some snaps. Get some PT. Yeah, really. Interesting, we've seen the ball up in the air quite a few times already from two teams who ran the ball pretty well last week. McDonald in the shotgun again. And a little shuttle pass the trying to come back play. the other way. I am uh, think that'll be incomplete. Looked like he threw that forward. Great call. They, they, they ran the comp. The companion play that was a sweep they ran for a first down. Then they come back with the same action, but this time the wing back, rather in blocks, runs back inside and they tried a little underhand or overhand toss. Little misdirection play there. Yeah. Great call. Co Dave Adams, you know, good coach. All right, prep on third down. Ball goes to Hunter Hobman. He tries to run up the right side. He's going to come up a little short. Yeah, there's a Zach Bond again, the senior, number five, coming from his middle linebacker. Look at him run him down. Look at the speed here. See him catch him? Wow, what an effort. Great job by Zach Brown. Zach Bond, I'm sorry, James Bond's son. That would be pretty cool. I wonder if he has an Aston Martin also. Okay, prep punting for the second time here this evening, and away it goes. And this one's going to be returned from his own 45. Oh, Caleb wow. Tufts takes it. He gets about two or three yards. And now Thomas Hayward Academy has some operating room. 47 yard line. Yeah, what a great uh, run down that time. Number 12 in coverage. Got down there and was able to 
hold it to a little, little bit, very short return. And, they, you know, they bought a lot of t real estate on that. The ball's out to the 44-yard line. So they did a great job. Kept their offense off the field, moved it out for one first down, and got it out almost back to midfield. Thomas Hayward, second play of the game. Little counter number play five, up to the left Zach side, Bond. run by Patrick number five, Bond. Zach Bond. Well, like we talked about before, one of the nice things about playing at a small school, you get to go both ways. <laughs> if, you're, if you're good, you're going to play offense and defense. You're going to get some playing time. Going both ways, though, is a lot more fun in the cooler weather, isn't it? Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's always more fun in the cooler weather. Second and eight now. Bond in motion, and it's a pitch over to J.R. Patterson, and he's going to pick up. Oh, and he keeps going, breaks a few tackles, and that's going to oh be a big goodness. equity ventures first down. We do have a flag on the play, so let's see what we have. What an effort by J.R. Patterson. Oh, my goodness. He should have been stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Missed tackle. He broke two or through two or three tackles. But it looks like that play might be coming back. What do you think, Chris? Smash. Yes, sir. Okay, 22 red face mask. Let them hash it out here. Referee face mask Mike from Grant. this line, Tommy. Go ahead and get your flag. Appears as though we have a face mask on Hilton Head Prep. And we do. I got face mask. Defense. That's a 15-yard penalty. First down. As you mentioned, that was referee Mike Grant. All the officials tonight are from North Charleston. That includes Tim Manor, the umpire, Tim Raker, the line judge, head lineman's Grady Whitmore. We've seen him before. And back judge Casey Hauser. First down from the Dolphins. So that's another big runners. equity ventures. First down for Thomas Hayward. So first down from just inside the 15. Thomas Hayward threatening here with 718 left in the first quarter. And there's J.R. Patterson again. Looks like he gets about six or so. Got right, a runner behind that right side. This time they choose the runner right behind the right guard, John Hewitt, 65, and the right tackle, Evan Brazil. He's a junior, six feet, 200. They picked on number 51, run on her back. And that's the reason why they have a first down. Great job. Or second down, rather. It's second, six yards on the first down. Patterson picks up about six, looking at second and four now. Both teams were airing it out a little bit early on. Thomas Hayward's keeping it on the ground now as they march downfield. And we have a little slip. Logan Thomas has to get a little creative and he's gonna, he looks like he's gonna lose a few on that play. Well, we were down on the field earlier today and I thought it was in excellent condition. Yeah, we had a lot of rain in the last 24 hours and the field is relatively dry. I didn't walk the whole field though. They might have a few wet spots, but in general, in, in general, this field looks terrific. Chris Tremblay along with Chuck Zapak, 6.30 left in the first quarter. Logan Thomas barking out orders for Thomas Hayward. And there's a pitch to J.R. Patterson running the left side, and Prep does a pretty good job of snuffing him out. Oh, what a, what a job by 51 and defensive tackle Brad Kaiser, only a freshman. He comes over, runs down the side, and makes, makes a great effort. Good job. So this is going to bring up an interesting call here, Chuck. Fourth and four. Well, it's a little early in the game to go for a field goal. I'm, I'm, I'm all in favor of this call. Go for it. Let's see if they get it to 23 back in the backfield. Or 22. And Logan Thomas has a little bit of pressure.
Prep came after him and it's incomplete. Jacob Masters had it in his hands. He was hit and it was knocked out and Prep will take over and downs. Wow, that was close to being a touchdown. That was. He had it. Jacob had it there for just a bit and got hit. Nice play by the prep defense and they hold again. That's a tough throw. The ball hits him right in the shoulder pad and right in the middle of the shoulder pads and bounces off. That's a shame. They let it get into his body. Usually you try to keep it out by keeping the hands out and keep it away from that shoulder pad. He'll learn. Don't let it get into your body. So prep gets the ball first and 10 now from their own seven or so. And uh, they're gonna pick up maybe one. And they run a counter inside. And there's that number five again. <laughs> number five is Danny Ledee. Makes a tough tackle inside. Second down, let to go for the Dolphins. Second and 10 now, Liddy didn't pick up anything and no oh, pass over the middle, in and out of the hands. Tommy Stauffer should have had that one, Chuck. Well, he felt the, the footsteps, that's for Dalton Steedley, number three, comes over from his free safety position and he just pulled off in time. I thought they might even throw a flag, but uh, he definitely felt the, the heat coming from Dal Dalton Steedley. He knew Steedley. somebody was there. Oh yeah. But if you know if you're a wide receiver, you're going to run that slant route. You got to expect that. It's going to. You know, they're waiting for it. Third and ten now for Prep. McDonald out of the shotgun. He's going to keep it on his own and run to the right, and he's going nowhere. And let's see where they mark that ball. Just a freshman for Thomas That'll be kicking out in the end zone again. All the way back to about the two yard line. It's a loss of seven on the play to be fourth down. So that's, that's gonna bring up zone. another punting situation for Prep. Caleb Tuss, number two. It looked like they were trying to run a misdirection play and somebody wasn't Logan there and was Blair supposed to be there. Number 10, Logan Blair, the punter. He's getting a little bit of a workout here in the first quarter. Nice kick. I think last week we didn't see a punt till late in the second quarter or the third. No fair number catch two, this time. Uh -oh. Caleb Tufts takes it and he's popped pretty good there by number 12. Greg Gage Hurlbut. Hurlbut put him on his butt, I'll tell you that. He what sure a great did. open field tackle he made. Very nice play. Let's look Watch at this salty replay. dog replay. High yep. snap. Logan Blair got it good to get it off the way he did. Taken on about the 45 by Caleb Tufts. Wow, what a play. Right there, Gage Hurlba with a great open field tackle. There's J.R. Patterson again. He takes it right up the middle and he's going to pick up the better part of six or seven yards. Yeah, what year is Patterson? Number five, Danny Levine. Patterson is a freshman. That's what I thought. I mean, I, I, he stopped. He's not playing like a freshman, Chris. No, he's playing like he's been out there for quite a while, and that's something for Coach Nick Schuford to look forward to for many years to come. Second and five now. Patterson picked up five. Gibson in motion. Great call. And there's an arrow right there, and it's caught, and we're going to have ourselves a TL TCL well, touchdown for Thomas Hayward. Dalton Steedley, number three, is for a rebel touchdown. Number three, Dalton Steedley on the end of that Logan Thomas pass. He had to put the brakes on and wait so for it, but once he did, and once again, yeah. Logan Thomas was throwing into the wind. Tell us what you see here, Chuck. Well, it's, it's not a perfect pass, but he, run, he does what he's supposed to do, which is put it up there and let the receiver get it, float it to his outside shoulder, and you can see the defender is at a disadvantage because he's got to turn around and try to locate the ball. He doesn't have an idea. So Dalton Steedley goes in for the TCL touchdown. Here to tack on the extra point is C.J. Cleland. Kick is up. The extra point and the kick is good. And we're going to go to a Village Park Homes timeout. 
Have you been hurt on the job, injured in a car accident, experiencing marital difficulties? Nairt and Dubois are attorneys located on the south end of Hilton Head Island. With their extensive experience and knowledge of the law, they can help you on your legal matter. Nairt and Dubois offer free initial consultation. So whether you have been hurt on the job, injured in a car accident, or experiencing marital difficulties, call the attorneys of Nairt and Dubois now to schedule an appointment to learn about your legal rights. Hi, I'm Colette Stevenson. And I'm Tom Reed with the Hilton Head Multiple Listing Service. Did you know you can search for homes in the same reliable database your local real estate professionals use? That's right. Locating property for sale in the area or finding an agent is easy on HiltonHeadMLS.com or on the HHI MLS app, which is free. MLS is what makes the real estate market work, so when you're ready to move, connect with Hilton Head MLS. On behalf of all of the Hilton Head MLS members, we want to wish all of our local high school football teams a safe and successful football season. Welcome back to the Rival County Bowl. Thomas Hayward takes his 7-0 lead on a pass from Logan Thomas to Dalton Steedley. And with 3.37 left, Prep will get the ball back, working downwind. And they want to try to make something happen downwind because trying to pass into it's a little more challenging, right Chuck? Absolutely, particularly in this win today. Nice tackle there on the open field. So Prep will start out at their own 33. Number 11 to well, you know, Prep is awfully lucky not to be down two scores. They're down only 7-0. They sure we had a fumble at the one yard line on that one uh, long pass play. It was only due to a great tackle that uh, prevented a touchdown and it caused a fumble and Prep got the ball back. But unfortunately, they weren't able to move the ball out of their uh, shadow of their goal post and Thomas Hayward came right back and scored, punched it in. Stone McDonald takes the snap and oh, that was a pretty dangerous play right there. Tended a little pitch back for number 22, Tate Wilkinson. That almost looked like it went backwards, Chuck. It, it did too. Uh, um, I don't know why he looked from up here like a backward pass. He tried to throw it an underhand first, but the defender was in the way. So then he tried to loft the ball over him, but definitely it looked like it was a backward pass. And we've got a Village Park Homes timeout. We'll be right back after this. Covert Air. Preventative maintenance, emergencies, new units. We are Covert Air, serving Bluffton 24-7. For all your heating and air conditioning, no one can compare. Hilton Head PSD offers convenient and secure online billing. Just have your PSD bill handy and click on the online bill payment button at hhpsd.com. You'll be guided through the steps to establish your online billing account. Their payment options allow you to set up recurring credit card payments, you can view your consumption history, and more. Remember to have your PSD bill handy when you visit hhpsd.com to get started. Hilton Head PSD, we're always working for you. Hilton Head Island Recreation Association is a nonprofit organization dedicated to improving the quality of life for people of all ages, committed to monitoring the recreation needs of the community and instituting change where needed. Island Rec has the only public pool on the island, sports camps year-round, all-day summer camp, before and after school care, family fun events, open gym, and adult activities. Visit our website, call, or stop in to learn more about how Island Rec can improve your quality of life. Second and 10 now for Prep from their own 33. McDonald takes the ball and he's gonna need to run and he'll maybe pick up a yard. When it comes to the air you and your family breathe, don't settle on letting just anybody take care of you. Call the South Carolina Low Country's most referred and preferred HVAC company. Covert Air, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 706-5090, that's 706-5090, and tell them you saw them on WHHI-TV. Third and 10 now for Prep, they're just a little too much pressure coming up the middle from Thomas Hayward. They're having a hard time establishing anything, and there's a quick pitch right there to number 22, Tate Wilkinson. Tate Wilkinson and he gets one, and that's gonna bring up a fourth down. 
Wow, they were well scouted on that play. The linebacker, Joe Gibson, number 15, for Tomron Haywood, was reading the ball, and he was right on top of it, right at the line of scrimmage, and that's the reason why we have a fourth down, and Prep's going to be punting again, down 7 nothing. Logan Blair coming in to punt for the fourth time tonight. Technical College of the Low Country. Make it happen no matter what. Uh-oh, a high snap. Logan Blair's going to have to get it away. Does a nice job of recovering, though. J.R. Patterson takes the ball, and he gets up to about the, almost the 40-yard line. Nice play by Logan Blair to make a recovery there and get the ball out, Chuck. Wow. Good presence of mind and to realize that the ball was, went over his head on the snap. He knew he had enough time to do something, and he did the right thing by putting the kick, and boy, did he kick it. He put yeah, his, great job by Blair. A lot of these players go both ways with the small school. One of them is Logan Blair. Just he's doing it all. He's offense, block. he's defense, he's yeah. punting. Logan Thomas now fakes the handoff and keeps it. He's going to go around the right side, and he's got a little bit of running room. And that's going to pick up a big equity ventures first down. Up at the Dolphin 45. It's a pickup of about 15 for the Rebels. And he picks up about 15 down. yards on that carry. Oh, nice job by Logan Th Thomas. Good blocking on that right side, too. John Ewart, 65. Evan Brazil, number 51. Thomas takes it. He's going to air it out. Throws it up the right side, throws it out of bounds. That'll bring up second and 10. Mike Rickenbaugh Chevrolet, before you buy, give us a try. And don't forget to stick around for the Mike Rickenbaugh halftime show, where Chuck and I will be recapping all the excitement that happened in the first half. With more to come, right, Chuck? Absolutely. Second and 10 now for Thomas Hayward Academy. And he hands it right up the middle, and we have a fumble, and it looks like Prep got their hands on it. Could be just the change in momentum Prep needs to start moving it down the field there, Chuck. Oh, wow, what a hit coming up from the second area. You'll see that the running back's running downhill. He makes a great burst, got some good, good blocking up front. He's downfield in a hurry, but he takes a hit from the safety. I wasn't able to identify exactly the number. Maybe we'll catch it right now. Who comes up with a whack on him? Oh, yeah. That, uh, number, looks like number 10. Number two, Caleb number Tufts two. coughed it up. Coach Nick Schuford not happy that the ball was just turned over. Prep now starting from just over their own 40 yard line. Little out pass to number one, Tyler Rice, and he probably picked up close to four. That's a, that's a well-executed play at, at this level. And you know to get it out to a speedster, he's a big target, number one. Catches the ball and you know, he, gets, he gets you going. Now you're second down and it's a makeable first, second and six. Good call, well-executed. And McDonald's going to hold on to it for himself. And there we go down the field. He's got a first down and he's got a whole lot more. And he's going to take it all the way to the house for a TCL touchdown for Prep. Oh my God. Stone what McDonald a... right down the field. And Prep is on the board. And they're right back in this one, Chuck. What an athlete. This only a sophomore, six feet one, 170 pounds. Stone McDonald, a quarterback, gets a second start this year. He played last year, too. But what a, he makes a great fake and a great, fantastic juke. Who knew he had so much speed? He's out running the secondary here. And there's some speed out there. Gives him the stiff arm at the last play. And he waltzes into the end zone. What a great job and a run by Stone McDonald. Man, that really just turned. In for the extra point. Trevor Weldon tacks on the extra point. He's an eighth grader. And we're all tied here at seven. And we'll be right back after this. 
John Paul II Catholic School is committed to preparing students for the challenges of life through intellectual, physical, and spiritual programs that advance academic excellence, leadership, service to others, while fostering discipleship according to the traditions of the Catholic faith. Our core values of service, holiness, integrity, excellence, leadership, and diversity are represented by the shield of our mascot, the Golden Warrior. Color click today to see all the great things going on at John Paul II Catholic School. A third of American families say they feud over the thermostat setting, and the battle can lead to higher energy bills by bouncing the temperature up and down. Find a temperature that everyone can live with, then avoid the feud. Set it and forget it. A tip from Covert Air. If you're building or renovating your home, we have all the appliances you'll ever need. With kitchen, laundry room, and outdoor appliances from more than 50 manufacturers, including Thermador, KitchenAid, and GE, our new showroom will help you envision your design. Only selling appliances, our experienced staff recommends the best products based upon your needs. We offer competitive pricing, delivery, and factory certified installers. Visit our convenient Mid-Island showroom or see us on the web at BillyWoodAppliance.com. As well as, uh, number 15. So, Prep takes number advantage of the fumble. Stone McDonald takes it about 55 yards for a touchdown, and all of a sudden we're tied at seven at a time where it looked like Thomas Hayward Academy might start to open this up, Chuck. Well, I tell you, they hit all the four basic factors on this on that drive, finishing with explosiveness. But, explosiveness. but before that, they had field position, they had a turnover, and they were able to finish the drive. Just what you need to do. And they were very efficient, so that's five out of the five factors that you need to, do, to score a touchdown, and they hit all five. And important for them to do it before they changed ends here, you yeah. know, moving down when Granted, he ran it, but you'd hate to think that you're down seven or 14 and nothing, and then you have to work into the win for the two of the next three quarters. No, you're right, and it's, unfortunately, it's something you can't control. It's not one of the basic things, but it, here you make, the idea is make more big plays than your opponent. Stay on schedule, you tilt the field, you finish drives, and at the end of the game, you fall on the ball, and that's exactly what they're doing. They, they, they got back in the game this way right now. The explosiveness, efficiency, and the field position, and the ability to finish the drive is the reason why we have a 7-7 game. Hayward Academy takes over from their own 35. Logan Thomas looking to throw, and he's going to air that one out, and it's going downfield, and it's going to be caught. Number eight. Zach Black, and there he goes. He goes one way and the other, down to the 10, the five, and... Oh, no, the second fumble. <laughs> and he lost it out of bounds, and we have a flag. But there's a penalty on the play. And he just out-jumped everybody on that play. It looked like it was going to be intercepted at first. Zach Black, the wide receiver, only a freshman, number eight, makes a phenomenal catch and a great run, almost finishes it. But the ball squirts out at the end. We've seen this play before. It, yeah, it seems like. Deja as vu. they say, it's, as it's deja vu all <laughs> over again, right? Wow. A little bit of everything on that play. At first, Logan Thomas couldn't After find anybody. We got personal foul. Number nine, red. Number nine, red. Okay, that's a 15 yard penalty. First down. Be a first down well, it's really not a 15-yard penalty. It's end up being about a yard or two yards. Yeah, about penalty. halfway to the halfway goal. To the goal. Tell Look us what we this. see here, Chuck. What a, he put, puts the ball and you throw exactly what you were supposed to do. Put it up there and let your wide receiver go get it, particularly when you got a guy that's about six foot three as he is. And look at just the moves he puts on at the end. And right up the middle, we need a signal. Let's see what we have. There it is. We have a touchdown. Referee Mike Grant signals. We have a TCL touchdown for Thomas Hayward Academy, so it didn't take them long to answer Stone McDonald's long run. Wow. We got ourselves a game here. This, this is exciting. We sure do. Some good defensive plays, some great offensive plays. C.J. Cleland out to tack on the extra point. Jacob Masters to hold. And the extra point is good. So Thomas Hayward takes advantage of a big play, and they lead now 14-7. to I'm Jeff Altoff with Low Country Insurance Services. At Low Country Insurance, we know Hurricane Matthew was devastating for many. 
I can honestly say that our customers have learned the true value of having a professional, independent insurance agent advocate on their behalf, especially when dealing with these claims. We want to help you with your insurance. We are local and we care. Make the right choice, Low Country Insurance Services. We are Palmetto Electric Cooperative, your Touchdown Energy Partner. Covert Air. Covert Air. We support the education and athletic programs for all of Beaufort County. Have a great year. For all your heating and air conditioning, no one can compare. So Thomas Hayward takes over with their um, quick striking offense, now leads it 14 to seven. They're gonna kick it off into the wind. CJ Cleland gives it a boot. And once again, not much of a return. We've seen great kick coverage so far. Number 12, Gage Hurlbut takes that one. Didn't get much on it. And now with 107 left in the first quarter, Stone McDonald's going to see if he can move them downfield before they switch up ends, moving downwind for the time being. That was 15, Joseph Gibson, O'Neill Jr. running down there making that tackle inside the 25-yard line. Nice job. Nice kiss co kick coverage by Thomas Edwards. Or kick coverage has been good so far tonight. The Salty Dog Cafe. Come join us at the Salty Dog Cafe at South Beach Marina or our new location in Tanger 2 and get your Salty Dog t-shirt at the Salty Dog t-shirt factory or anytime at saltydog.com. Stone McDonald pitches it out. Number 21, Hunter Hoffman takes it, gets a few. And we're under a minute now in the first quarter. I hope we get to see a replay on this. You're going to see this play run to perfection. Watch him come down the line, make the read. Look at this. He takes one read inside and then he flips it out outside. Took the step forward to make the uh, perspective defender think that the quarterback was going to keep the ball. And then he pitches it to the last second. Once again, that swarming Thomas Hayward defense held him to nothing on that play. Second and ten. McDonald takes it, and the play up the middle worked before, and he's got a few this time. Another counter play, and he gets a block inside by number Trey, by Trey Spear, number 57. You'll see him. Trey is a senior, 5'10", 220 pounds. If we get the replay, watch watch 57 hit with the block. Look at him pick up the blocker, the defender right there. Bang. Gets, him, gets his man, pushes him off the, the ball carrier. Great job by Trey. And that's going to take us to the end of the first quarter. Thomas Hayward Academy 14, Hilton Head Prep 7. A third of American families say they feud over the thermostat setting, and the battle can lead to higher energy bills by bouncing the temperature up and down. Find a temperature that everyone can live with, then avoid the feud. Set it and forget it. A tip from Covert Air. Hilton Head Exterminators is the home of five-star service, as rated by our customers. A pest-free home at a very reasonable cost brings great peace of mind. We would trust no one else with our needs. Thank you for a job well done. Their professionalism, knowledge, and thoroughness are second to none. We've been customers for more than 10 years and couldn't be more satisfied. Hilton Head Exterminators, our commitment, reputation, and tradition are why we're the home of five-star service. Hilton Head Exterminators is the best. Oh, salt the dog. Oh, salt the dog. You're sly as a fox. You salt the dog. Captain Charity sitting in a tree with Kiwi waving back at me. But it won't you be the salt the dog. Oh, salt the dog. Oh, salt the dog. You're sly as a fox. You salt the dog. Down the southeast, sitting by the dog, singing a song about a salted dog. Honey, won't you be the salted dog?
Before TCL, I was, I served in the military for five years. So I knew I didn't want to be a single mom in the military. So I did decide to go to school. My whole family has graduated from TCL and has had great success here. Right now, I'm a recent um, nurse graduate. I want to be a nurse practitioner. I can't think of what TCL hasn't done for me. I am Thomasina Smalls and I made it happen no matter what. And as the second quarter begins, Prep will now be moving into the wind. They're facing a third and five. See if Stone McDonald can work some more of his magic here, Chuck. Yeah, he, let's see what he's got up his sleeve. And he throws it out in the flat to number 21, Hunter Hobman, and Hobman fumbles it out of bounds. See where they mark it. Well, where they mark it, that's going to be enough for a Big Equity Ventures first down. That'll be enough for a Dolphin first down. Nice job this time by the quarterback. Throws the ball on the out. They ran him out. It, it was a man to man coverage. Somebody blew a coverage. It's a pickup of 14 on the play. Well designed play. Found his man, delivered the ball, couldn't ask the quarterback to That was to what we anymore. call a Big Equity Ventures first down. Big Equity Ventures, purchasing commercial real estate and assets valued over $2 million. Call Big Equity today at 404-514-3109. And now we've got a play. There he goes. Tyler Rice. He's all the way down just inside the five. Back left, a touchdown. Only a sophomore, six foot three, 170 pounds, Tyler Rice. There was another wide receiver by the, with the last name Rice, wasn't there? What there was. Move. He was a pretty good one for the 49ers, if I'm not mistaken. Whatever is he related? Could be. You look pretty good out there. We know, we know Jerry Rice would like to come here to Hilton Head and play some golf, right? We know he loves to play his golf. So Tyler Rice takes it down inside the five for prep as they're threatening to take it in here. Number 22, Tate Wilkinson, and he's not going to get too much. Uh, he ran a little bit too wide. If you look that play took a little too long to develop. Uh, he took it a little wide. The play was designed to go inside. Had he followed the, the backside of his left guard, he'd be in the end zone right now. But you know, sometimes it's... You want to bounce it out and uh, you make the wrong decision, but it, the play was definitely inside and would have scored. But anyway, they got, they're down there. They got another chance. It's only second down. Second and goal from just inside the five. McDonald takes it, throws a little pass, and we have a TCL touchdown. That's number 33, Carson King, the six foot four, 185 pound freshman. That's a big target. Oh, you gotta feel good about that, man. Six foot four, 185, freshman, catching the ball. A little play action pass here. He just settles down. They were in zone coverage, and the quarterback made it. I mean, that was a great read. Trevor Weldon in to attempt the extra point. Well, where'd they start High that snap, time? he gets it down, and it's blocked. <laughs> Looked like they got a piece of it. It hit the crossbar and didn't quite make it over. <laughs> so Hayward's going to maintain a 14-13 lead. We'll be back right after this. Big Equity Ventures is looking to purchase your commercial or residential real estate assets, commercial income producing businesses, new luxury car dealerships for sale, or any other appraisable asset currently worth and currently valued at over $2 million or more that is owned free and clear by highly motivated and cooperative sellers. For more information, contact us now. Visit our website at BigEquityLLC.com, email us at info at BigEquityLLC.com, or call us at 404-514-3109. Hilton Head Exterminators is the home of five-star service, as rated by our customers. A pest-free home at a very reasonable cost brings great peace of mind. We would trust no one else with our needs. Thank you for a job well done. 
Their professionalism, knowledge, and thoroughness are second to none. We've been customers for more than 10 years and couldn't be more satisfied. Hilton Head Exterminators. Our commitment, reputation, and tradition are why we're the home of five-star service. Hilton Head Exterminators is the best. Oh, salt the dog. Oh, salt the dog. You're sly as a fox. You salt the dog. Captain Charity sitting in a tree with Kiwi waving back at me. Honey, won't you be the salt dog? Oh, salt dog. Oh, salt dog. You're sly as a fox. You salt the dog. Down the south we sit my dog singing a song about a salt dog. Honey, won't you be the salt dog? And prep kicks it off. Ball taken at about the 24-yard line. A little room to run this time. They get it out to just over the 40-yard. Well, they're still going. The ball and came out. And the ball came. Uh, I think the whistle blew. Ball's out and shows the helmet. Helmet came off. You know, Chris, it, it doesn't look like it's a big difference, but it's huge statistically when you can start from 55 yards out versus 65 yards out. Yeah, you wouldn't think 10 yards would make that much of a difference, yeah. but it does. It's, it's like a 40% increase that you're going to score just so there's a difference in 10 yards. That's a great way to start. Short kick, got the ball, some good running, brings it out. They're 55 yards away from pay dirt. You get a chance to get back in this game. So both teams relying on the big plays so far to get themselves in scoring position. Thomas Hayward Academy now from their own 45. First and 10, 10, 43 left in the second quarter. And let's see what we have here. Maybe a little quick start. I got motion. At the five yard penalty, still playing first down. Referee Mike Grant telling us we had a little movement before the snap. It's gonna be first and 15 now. Well, Hayward's got some pretty big guys up front. 51, even Brizzle. Yvonne Brizzle, John Hewitt, 65, Pablo Arroso, number 68. You'll see him right up there on your screen. Logan the Thomas pocket. takes the ball, a little counter to number six, River Pender. Oh, number six, River Pender, the ball carrier. What a great uh, open field tackle by Camden Hayes, only a sophomore. That's one thing, as I said, these small schools, everybody gets a chance to play. Look at the open field tackle. He'd be, he'd be able to run around the blocker, really comes up, nice makes play. a great tackle. Wow. I mean, that play was going for a lot more yards if he doesn't make that tackle. So we're going to have second and about seven now. Village Park Homes, your true hometown builder, close to everything, far from ordinary. Logan Thomas has some friends back there in the backfield, Chuck. It looks like number one is back in the, uh, um, I'm sorry. Yeah, that is and Logan we're gonna Thomas have somewhere. a Village Park Homes timeout. We'll be right back after this. Home is that magical spot where weekends happen. It's tea parties and superheroes. It's one more bedtime story. It's your first, your last, and everything in between. Home is where you belong. We get it. Whether it's your first home, your next home, or your dream home, we want to build you the very best home for your life. Let us help you get started. VillagePartHomes.com. Close to everything, far from ordinary. Before TCL, I was I served in the military for five years. So I knew I didn't want to be a single mom in the military, so I did decide to go to school. My whole family has graduated from TCL and has had great success here. Right now, I'm a recent um, nurse graduate. I want to be a nurse practitioner. I can't think of what TCL hasn't done for me. I am Thomasina Smalls, and I made it happen no matter what. And we did have a flag there before that timeout, and there's a little pass thrown by Logan Thomas, and that's his man, Zach Black, has the ball again, and he's going to pick up a big Equity Ventures first down. He's a tough one to bring down, Chuck. <laughs> How do you get to be that big as a freshman? That's what I want to know. It's called eating I'm, your vegetables. I was 5'3 as a freshman. Look at this. What a target. Catches the ball, and now he breaks a couple tackles and picks up an extra 10 yards, including a first down. So a big equity ventures first down for Thomas Hayward Academy. Now they're inside the 40-yard line of prep. Logan Thomas shuffles him around the backfield. 
Takes the ball and it's a pitch. J.R. Patterson, he's got some running room. 23, J.R. Patterson, the ball carrier. Tackle he gets it down to about the 28-yard line, close to the 27. It's a rebel first down at the Dolphin 27. That's going to be a big Equity Ventures first down. That was a nice job of blocking out there. You see his lead man. He's got his defensive, uh, offensive tackle. See him, number 75, comes up there, leading the way. Knocks his sort of looked like the old Lombardi sweep, didn't it? Oh, Jerry Kramer and Fuzzy Thurston well, the out there leading the way. You got a big guy in front of you, and, and number one, a little defender. He doesn't know what to do. All he sees is a big Logan shirt. Thomas throws it up, and there's his big target oh, again, number eight, Zach Once Black. Once again, to. Takes it right out of the hands of the prep defender. It looks like it was going to be an interception. But Black able to reach in there and grab the ball right back. So last week, Thomas Hayward Academy only completed three passes. And they far out surpassed that so far tonight. Another big Equity Ventures first down. They have the ball at about the 11. Looked like we had a little movement up front, and let's see what referee Mike Grant says we did. Yeah, it looks like it's an offside. One of the defenders went off sides when the back went in motion. Let's see if they called that. Tell us what's going on here, Mr. Grant. Okay, I got encroachment. 51 red. That's a foul. Penalty, still playing first down. So offsides on Hilton Head Prep, that'll make first and five now. From just about just about the six yard line. Thomas Hayward threatening here with 850 left in the second quarter. Well, I start looking for big number eight again. <laughs> Why not? That's a you big know, target who has pretty good hands. I look out there in the end zone, see if I can't get a one-on-one -on -one and Nick, get the ball up to him. Nick Schufert has to love some of this young talent, what he's seen out of them tonight. Here it goes, empty backfield. It's a quarterback Logan draw. Thomas takes it, he's going to run to the left on his own cuts, and he's going to go for that far pylon, and it looks like he got it. Let's see what the call is, and certainly looked like he got there. I don't think the, the official called him in. Looked like he touched the pylon, though. He went out of bounds when the official marked it, but let's go let's back and see if he the touches salty the pylon dog replay first. here. Number one, what a great effort by Logan Todd. Watch this. Does he touch? Yeah. Looked like he was oh, in. Oh, man. Oh, that's a touchdown. Oh. I'm with you. I Even from this angle, that looked like six points all day. And he's just going to push it forward, and he's into the end zone now. Logan Thomas takes it in for a TCL touchdown, and Thomas Hayward increases their lead. That was just a solid move them down the field drive. And like you said, when they start at the 45-yard line, the 55, the short field, so to speak, yeah. Their chances of scoring are a lot greater. It make, makes a world of difference by starting that close. So uh, statistics obviously don't lie in football. C.J. Cleland in to attempt the extra point. Jake Masters to hold. And he gets it up and through, and Thomas Hayward Academy takes a 21 to 13 lead. We'll be back right after this. I want my kids to have access to health care I can trust. That's why I'm glad I chose Blue Choice Health Plan Medicaid. They coordinate my family's healthy connection services, remind me to get my kids shots and checkups, and give me approved added benefits like a car seat at no cost. That sure makes it easier to get the right health care for me and my kids. Get the care you need when you need it with Blue Choice Health Plan Medicaid. Big Equity Ventures is looking to purchase your commercial or residential real estate assets, commercial income producing businesses, new luxury car dealerships for sale, or any other appraisable asset currently worth and currently valued at over $2 million or more that is owned free and clear by highly motivated and cooperative sellers. For more information, contact us now. Visit our website at BigEquityLLC.com, email us at info at BigEquityLLC.com, or call us at 404-514-3109. 
As we come back into the rival county bowl now, Thomas Hayward increases their lead to 21 to 13. CJ Cleland to kick it off. He'll be kicking downwind. Hilton Head Exterminators, keeping low country homes and businesses bug free for nearly 50 years. HiltonHeadExterminators.com. And he gets a good kick off, and we're getting a pretty good return here. Looks Hunter like number 21, Hunter Hopman line. takes it. He's going to get up to about the 33-yard line, and Prep will take over first and 10. 8.15 left in the second quarter. Well, I'll tell you what, if I was Coach Nick Schuford uh, for Thomas Hayward Academy, I'd be real happy right now with what they did. And they ran a great offense. It, you know, there's a lot of creative ways to create, mis create misdirection and leverage defenders, and that's what they did back in the shotgun. As you saw, there was an awful lot of fakes and handoffs and you know, counter plays and misdirection. That's just a really fine-tuned offense like it's talked about before. The second game of the year is the biggest game where you make, make changes. Stone McDonald's throw, is it intercepted? It was tipped, and let's see, is it yeah. intercepted? It looked like... I don't know if it hit the ground or not. We might have to see it on the re Salty Dog replay. Well, they're calling it. They're calling whether... an interception, and Thomas Hayward takes over at the prep 33-yard line. Let's see this again, Chuck. Uh, got tipped by number five, the middle linebacker, and it, he cradled, got his hands underneath. It's tough to see from this angle, even though we looked... Well, either right way, on, Thomas Hayward ball. has the yep. ball again, and they're going to look to add a few more points on. Looks like we have we have a timeout. We have a Village Park Homes timeout. We'll be back right after this. Sports Zone, located in the heart of Bluffton, is the place for all team uniforms, school uniforms, trophies, awards, banners, embroidery, signage, vehicle lettering, screen printing, and magnetics. Small orders or large orders, we can do it all. Sports Zone is locally owned and operated by Doug and Janet Counts. Stop in and see us at 12 Johnston Way in Bluffton, across from the post office, or call us at 843-837-9663. We are so much more. More than a gym, more than a swimming pool, more than programs and soccer fields, more than yoga and Tabata class. We believe that in healthy communities, people change and grow, from exercise to education, volleyball to volunteerism, preschool to prevention. We don't just strengthen bodies, we strengthen minds and inspire spirits. You don't just belong to a gym, you belong to the YMCA of Beaufort County. Changing your HVAC filter frequently can improve the efficiency of your system 5 to 15%. Say your average utility bills total $200 a month. That could mean a savings of up to $360 a year. That's a good return for a few dollars worth of disposable filters. So Thomas Hayward Academy now first and 10. And Got there's him. a pass completed. And into the end zone goes number 15, Joseph Gibson. And Logan Thomas isn't afraid to air it out today. And they're having a lot more luck than they did last week with the passing game and taking full advantage of the time he has in the backfield. And they've just increased their lead for a TCL touchdown. Hey, Chris, no matter how you approach the game, the game of football changes when the field shrinks. And they got the turnover, it was a short field. You come out, this is a, a classic call, first, first and 10 from your 30, 30, opponent's 35 yard line, you're gonna throw the ball downfield. It's exactly what they did, this is right out of any major coach's playbook. And they, get, they go in for a touchdown. C.J. Cleland on for the extra point. He's been a busy man, and he puts it right through again, and Thomas Hayward Academy increases their lead to 28-13. to We'll be back right after this. If you need new appliances, we invite you to visit Billy Wood Appliance. Whether your needs are for the kitchen, laundry room, or patio, we have you covered. Our live showroom enables you to experience appliances from more than 50 manufacturers, including Wolf, Sub-Zero, Gin Air, and Whirlpool. You can literally try before you buy. Only selling appliances, our experienced staff recommends the best products based upon your needs. We offer competitive pricing, delivery, and factory certified installers. Visit our convenient Mid-Island showroom or see us on the web at Billy Wood. Hilton Head Island Recreation Association is a nonprofit organization dedicated to improving the quality of life for people of all ages, committed to monitoring the recreation needs of the community and instituting change where needed. Island Rec has the only public pool on the island. 
sports camps year-round, all-day summer camp, before and after school care, family fun events, open gym, and adult activities. Visit our website, call, or stop in to learn more about how Island Rec can improve your quality of life. Thomas Hayward Academy has opened this one up a little bit. Now they lead 28 to 13. They'll kick off downwind. C.J. Cleland, I wonder if his leg's getting sore. He's done a lot of kicking so far. Krimp feels it at about the 20, and we got a little bit of running room there. We got a little bit of running room for Hunter Hobman, and there he goes. He's going to take it all the way to the house. He sure does. It looks like to me he's in. Hunter Hoffman trying to get Hilton Head Prep right back into this one. Let's see how they mark it. They mark it as though he took it all the way to the house for a TCL touchdown, Chuck. Talk about getting back into it quick. <laughs> Let's wow. see what happened here on the Salty Dog replay. Uh, Everybody got bunched in the middle. Yeah, this is just his speed. In the middle breaks out there and he simply outruns everybody from Thomas Hayward. Gets Oh, it's just a great effort. Number two almost runs him down, hits the fl hits the flag, and we got a touchdown. Boy, it's, it can be a complicated game, but when you get big plays like that, it sure makes it a lot easier. And a lot more fun to watch. Yeah. Go They're going to go points. for two now. Oh, we had an open man there for a sec, and we get two-point conversion number completed two, to number 22, two, Tate Wilkinson. And Prep gets himself right back into this one, 28 to 21. Bigger is not always better. A big HVAC system may get you to the desired temperature quicker, but the end result is wildly fluctuating temps and a loss of efficiency. And that translates to a loss of money. When it comes to HVAC, size really does matter. Mike Rickenball Chevrolet is proud to support high school football. I'm Mike Rickenball and our game is on with the special offer for football fans. The new 2017 Chevy Silverado, featuring high strength steel that delivers. Save up to 20% off MSRP at Mike Rickenball Chevrolet. Dependable, confident performance. Chevrolet Silverado. Nobody says trucks like Mike Rickenball Chevrolet. Before you buy, give us a try. Find new roads. Well, Chuck, for two teams that scored, what, 15 points between them last week, they're certainly having a little bit more fun with getting the ball in the end zone this week. Well, it's sort of a standard adage in football. You make your biggest improvement between week one and week two in the season for any football team, and it's certainly shown tonight how effective the offenses are. I would say as far as point production goes, you'd be 100% right at this point. Blue Choice Health Plan Medicaid. Keep your kids safe after school with a free Boys and Girls Club membership through Blue Choice Health Plan Medicaid. Call 1-877-552-4642. Stop by the Blue Choice Health Plan Medicaid table to learn more. Thomas Hayward Academy takes over on their own 35-yard line, 743 remaining in the second quarter. We've seen a lot of score and a lot of points, and we're only halfway through the second quarter. These are 12 minute quarters, too. J.R. Patterson takes the pitch up the left side, and he's got some running room up the left sideline, and he's going to get a big Equity Ventures first down. Is he, is he only in ninth grade? J.R. Patterson is a freshman. Oh, my word. Look at this. He's got enough speed to get outside, get some nice blocking. And then he's able to outrun, makes a move, a little juke, and makes a run, and his speed allows him to avoid another d defender. The only thing that stopped him that time, Chris, was the sideline. That's right. First and 10 now from the prep 47. Here's Jay Patterson. Jared Patterson's going one way. He shifts field. He's going to go back the other way, and he'll pick up a couple. Well, that's a rookie mistake. Yeah, that's one thing you don't want to do is start no. reversing your field. You know, if, if just get up. And the reason is not because it wouldn't go anywhere, but the blocking by your offensive lineman, all of a sudden it turns the other way. And that's typically where you get a hold or a block from the back because your linemen don't know you change your field. And number six, River Pender takes it and he's going to get close to a big equity ventures first down. Let's see where they mark it. Technical College of the Low Country. Make it happen no matter what. Yeah, River Pender, only junior number six. He dragged about four guys with him five yards and just a little bit shorter than first down, Chris. 
And just short of it, so it's going to bring up third and short. Calling the plays in from the sideline. Offensive coordinator stands on the sideline calling, and that's what they're looking over the sideline for. They're not huddling up. Logan Thomas keeps it, goes straight ahead, and that's going to be a big equity ventures first down. Well, that's a good call, just, just to get your first down. You got a nice lead block by, uh, by, by the halfback. You'll see it on replay here. Takes on a defensive linebacker. And number six is the reason why they have a first down. That was River Pender through the block that allowed them to get that first down. Village Park Homes, your true hometown builder. Close to everything, far from ordinary. Thomas Hayward Academy trying to get it in again. Logan Thomas throws it incomplete. One of the few incomplete passes he's had this quarter, Chuck. Yeah, I, I don't remember. Maybe one other, but uh, we don't have the halftime stats yet. But uh, I'll tell you what, it's quite an effort by the quarterback. Nice coverage again by number two. Logan Thomas, Donald senior. He's seen some action. Five foot nine, 180 pounds. Second down and 10 for the Rebels. Windy day up here too, Chris. And we've got all our stuff taped down to the um, our table so we can keep track of everything that's happening. Logan Thomas throws over oh, the right what side. Catch. What a great catch there. Number four, Jacob Logan Masters Jones, takes it. That's going to be a big equity Jones, ventures Jones, first down, and they're creeping down Jones, field again, Jones, Chuck. Jones, this is a backup quarterback, Jones, Jacob Jones, Masters, Jones, and he shows Jones, his Jones. athleticism here by digging the ball out of the dirt, catches the ball. Wow. I bet he's a catcher on baseball, too. I just love guys like that. He went right down after a little fingertip catch, picked him up a first down. I'm telling you, he's a catcher. I'll buy that. Thomas Hayward now first down at the prep, about the 14-yard line. Yeah, they gotta keep it going now. They got the momentum. Logan Thomas, he hangs the hands it off there to number six, River Pender, who goes straight ahead. River Pender, number six, the ball carrier. Tackles made by Ben Polisi. Yeah, got to look at that offensive line right now. It's a they, they, of they, about they, nine. Thomas Hayward's got right one. behind John Ewart, number 65, and Evan Brazil, number 51. They're just pushing prep right downfield. 75, Terry and Cannon. 68, the center, Pablo Orozco. He's a senior. And number 75, you see out there, Luke Bond, a right tackle. And there's a handoff. Number five, Zach Bond takes it. Yeah, he got right behind five, Terry and Cannon, 77, here. and Luke Bond, 75. Almost a touchdown. And let's see, is that going to be a big equity venture first down, or are they going to check it out to see? No, first and goal down. There's another handoff right there. Right up, Zach Bond, and he didn't get much that time. That's because they had 55 from Prep comes up and just stuffs them back there. Nice tackle. Second down from the two. Logan Thomas looking over the sideline for the call. As always, Chuck, we've got to thank our presenting sponsor here, Covert Air. When it comes to the air you and your family breathe, don't settle on letting just anybody take care of you. Call the South Carolina Low Country's most referred and preferred HVAC company, Covert Air. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 706-5090, 706-5090, and tell them you saw them on WHHI-TV. We're going to a Village Park Homes timeout. Big Equity Ventures is looking to purchase your commercial or residential real estate assets, commercial income producing businesses, new luxury car dealerships for sale, or any other appraisable asset currently worth and currently valued at over $2 million or more that is owned free and clear by highly motivated and cooperative sellers. For more information, contact us now. Visit our website at BigEquityLLC.com, email us at info at BigEquityLLC.com, or call us at 404-514-3109. Are heating and AC maintenance plans worth the investment? Having a qualified technician inspect your system three times per year from Covert Air means you can spot problems while they're easy and cheaper to fix. And regular tune-ups result in savings on your power bill. So second a goal now for Thomas Hayward Academy. Second a goal for Thomas Hayward. From about just outside the one. Logan Thomas takes a snap, quick patch to J.R. Patterson. 
He's going to take it and go to the other side of the field, and it's just a foot race to the pylon, and Patterson's going to win, and he's going to go in for a TCL touchdown. I want to tell you, Jay or Patterson just changed my mind about reversing the field. <laughs> well, as long as we don't have that holder, a crackback block, or a clip, it works. And he made it work there, and he got them in for a touchdown. He ran, started into the sideline with the pitch, reversed his field, and came back the other way. Look how he starts into the sideline. That means he's got about another 40, 30 or 40 yards to run the other way. He's a freshman, though. He has fresh legs. He'll be fine. He can handle it. C.J. Cleland again in to attempt the extra point. And that one is no good. So as we go to break, Thomas Hayward Academy 34, Hilton Head Prep 21. Pressure up the middle by the Dolphins. 424 to go here, second quarter. Thomas Hayward 34, Hilton Head Prep 21. If you're building or renovating your home, we have all the appliances you'll ever need. With kitchen, laundry room, and outdoor appliances from more than 50 manufacturers, including Thermador, KitchenAid, and GE, our new showroom will help you envision your design. Only selling appliances, our experienced staff recommends the best products based upon your needs. We offer competitive pricing, delivery, and factory certified installers. Visit our convenient Mid-Island showroom or see us on the web at billywoodappliance.com. As Bluffton's true hometown builder, at Village Park Homes, we know that choosing the right neighborhood is a big decision. We invite you to visit Lawton Station, where neighbors become friends and enjoy a thriving sense of community. Lawton Station offers a diverse collection of beautiful new homes with impressive features included, a comprehensive home buyer's warranty and fantastic resort style amenities, all from just the mid 200 thousands. Visit us online or call 843-706-9550. So once again, C.J. Cleland of Thomas Hayward Academy has the ball on the tee, ready to kick it away to prep. And he gives it a pretty good boot. And picked up at about the 20-yard line, and they're not going to get very much on this one, Chuck. It doesn't look like much, but that cost him a good 10, 15 yards by fumbling the ball, not fielding it cleanly. And now you're going to start from your 24 rather than probably your 34. you got to run up and get it, right? Don't yeah. let it play you. Play the ball. I mean, that, that, that 10 yards doesn't sound like much, but it is when you look statistically where you start on a football field, whether or not you're going to score, you're going to have a scoring drive. Well, let's see what they can get themselves. They're a little, little bit of a hole. They lost some of their own medal. Every time it looks like they're getting they're getting a gap here. They're getting taken away from Hilton Head Prep comes back with a big play. Let's see if Stone McDonald can make it happen again. He's got to get some help here from the offensive line. Turns around, throws a little out pass. That's number one, Tyler Rice, who had a big play earlier. Picked up about five. Yeah, I like this. The coach really, know, you know, took a good advantage of what he had. I mean, in these small schools, you don't have as much talent pool to choose from. So you just need players that are team players to be able to understand the play scheme. And that's what exactly they did. That was a reverse pivot, a fake to the fullback, and then a quick throw to the outside. And they set up like a, almost like an outside screen. Well, to well, make sure this one doesn't get away from them, the next time points are put up on the board, it needs to be by prep. There's a little fling pass out there to number 21, oh, Hunter Hoffman, and we have a turnover. He stole the ball. He stole, he swiped it from him. Did he steal it before he was down? That's the key. Uh, they're gonna get, they're, they're and it looks like Zach Bond thinks he has it for Thomas Hayward Academy. Let's see what the call is. Boy, the coaches are going to be looking at this one. I was, oh, okay. So Prep keeps the ball. Now it's third and five. Really could use a first down here. Stone McDonald rolling to the right. He's got some pressure, and it looks like he definitely has a first down. Let's see what he found there. He found number 10, Logan Blair. So they keep the drive alive. Nice pass. Nice patience by Stone McDonald on this one there, Chuck. Stone McDonald just makes a phenomenal play. He keeps patience, poise. Look at this, he's got it right on his back. He's able to use his feet, gets out there and makes an accurate throw. I mean, the feet get underneath him, makes his arm look like a pro quarterback's arm and he'd be able to pin, pin the ball 10 yards downfield right to the receiver, first down. 
Don't forget about the Mike Rickenbaugh halftime show coming up. Chuck and I will be out there to analyze everything that happened in the first half. Stone McDonald takes the ball at same play. Oh, oh. was that dangerous. Looking for Tyler Rice again off his hands, and that went almost the other way for six points. Wow. Thomas Haywood coaching staff have prepared their team for this flanker screen because they were all over at that time. Re fake and a reverse pivot by the quarterback, throws that wide receiver, but they had read that, and wow. You can tell that they practiced against that play a while because it, it was well covered. No chance for that to get completed. Second and 10 now from the 40. Little inside counter, number 33, Carson King. He had a touchdown a little bit earlier, picks up a couple. Salty Dog Cafe. Come join us at the Salty Dog Cafe at South Beach Marina or our new location in Tanger 2 and get your Salty Dog t-shirt at the Salty Dog t-shirt factory or anytime at saltydog.com. Let's check out the replay. Yeah, Brad Kaiser, the center, 5'8", 205 pounds, threw, threw a great block that time, and that's the reason why you got the first down for prep. Third and five now, or close to first. And overthrown, he was going for number 21, Hunter Hopman. Well, what do you think, you're down two scores? Less than two minutes, you go for this or you punt it? You gotta punt it away. If you don't get the fourth down, you give them field position and they move down the field too quickly. Like you said, they're down in that scoring area. When they're inside that 55 yard and that shorter field, it opens things up a little bit, makes it they get down there and score quicker. Punting for the Dolphins, once again, number 10, Logan Blair. So prep to punt it away. Got to get a good snap. Dolphins are kicking in the Logan Blair to punt, and he gets it away. Punting into the wind. Oh, they got a good bounce, though. That's the bounce they needed. Get a good bounce to about the 26. And it'll be down at about the 26 yard line, maybe the 27, and Thomas Hayward will take over when we come back. I want my kids to have access to healthcare I can trust. That's why I'm glad I chose Blue Choice Health Plan Medicaid. They coordinate my family's healthy connection services, remind me to get my kids shots and checkups, and give me approved added benefits like a car seat at no cost. That sure makes it easier to get the right health care for me and my kids. Get the care you need when you need it with Blue Choice Health Plan Medicaid. Thomas Hayward now. One, Logan, Logan Thomas pass. throws a quick out, incomplete up the right side. 139 left in the second quarter. Big Equity Ventures, purchasing commercial real estate and assets valued over $2 million. Call Big Equity today at 404-514-3109. Second and 10 now. 34 points so far in the first half for Thomas Hayward. And there's number six, River Pender takes it, and he's got some running room, and he's got a big equity venture first down, and he just River wants Pender to keep going. Do we have a fumble, or was he out of bounds there? Uh, he, he was out of bounds. He, he fumbled it out of bounds. Finally, they yanked it from him. They were trying to get it from him from the last 10 yards of that run. Tackling the ball, that's okay. But at this stage, you got to bring him down, too. And he had stepped out of bounds just before the prep team was able to jar it loose. Great. Logan Thomas keeps it. He's going to run up the right side, and he's got a he's got room. Gets it over midfield. One nineteen left in the second quarter. Clock running. I love this play. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get a chance to look at a replay here. But it's almost like a cross buck between the running back and the quarterback in the backfield. Fakes the handoff and keeps it himself. They put the offside guard and he follows them down the field. Really great execution by the offensive line inside. Let's see if they air it out here now. Logan Thomas throws it complete up the left side. That'll bring up third down. A lot of tired players out there. 35, 34 points from Thomas. We've been up and down this field a couple times. Oh I'd word. be tired too. Yeah. And it's, we mentioned it's very hot out and humid. And nobody's cramped up, at least not yet. Well, the heat we had last week in Hardyville, we had to see the better part of half a dozen players that went down and had to take a timeout due to the cramps. Third and four now. Logan Thomas hands it off to J.R. Patterson, who's got some room up the middle, and he cuts it, and he's going 
right downfield, cuts it to the he 20. Is go. he going to take no, it to the house? No he sure way. is. And he takes it to pay dirt for a TCL touchdown. And J.R. Patterson, the freshman, takes it just under 50 yards for a touchdown. And Thomas Hayward increases their lead. Well, there's an old saying, fatigue makes bad tacklers out of us all. And that's what happened there. And that's the reason why he was able to get into the secondary it was a missed tackle at the at the line at the line of scrimmage, and he turned that into a, a what was that about a 60 yard touchdown? No, just under 50 yards, 50 about yards. a 49 yard touchdown Plus run for J.R. Right Patterson. There. Yeah, he gets a great block. Wow. And now it's just a foot race. And he did a great job of reading his downfield blocking and went right for the left pylon, and he got it. And they're going to go for two. J.R. Patterson, I think that's a name we're going to hear again. Only a freshman. Logan Thomas takes it, and he's going to run it right up the middle, and they're going to stop him. So, Thomas Hayward Academy now leads 40-21. to 21. We'll be back right after this. Hilton Head Island Recreation Association is a nonprofit organization dedicated to improving the quality of life for people of all ages, committed to monitoring the recreation needs of the community, and instituting change where needed. Island Rec has the only public pool on the island. Sports camps year-round, all-day summer camp, before and after school care, family fun events, open gym, and adult activities. Visit our website, call, or stop in to learn more about how Island Rec can improve your quality of life. C.J. Cleland into kickoff now for what I've got to be the seventh time, the opening kickoff and six touchdowns. Up to take it, Ball taken at about the 25 and ran it upfield to about the 35. Knocked backwards a little bit. It's number 25, Tommy Stauffer. That was Peyton so, Scott, number 17, also in there, a tackle there. He's a junior. He got it. He got in and got a blow. You know, you, you got to give some some credit to that Thomas Hayward offensive line. You know, it's. All about the Jimmy and Joes up front, and they got them. Luke Bond, 75, Terry and Cannon, 77, Pablo Orozco, 68, John Ewart, 65, and Evan Brazil, number 51, doing a great job for that offense. Get them six touchdowns in the first half. First half. Stone McDonald takes the snap and hands it off, and there's nothing doing there. 51, Evan Brazil, not about the line of scrimmage. Number 12, George, Gage Hurlbutt took that one. Yeah, Evan Brazil right took on the it, chin. Almost took it too. <laughs> yeah, he took sure it too. did. Not only does he play offense, he plays defense, Mr. Brazil. And I think Prep's just going to let the clock run down here. And that's going to take us to halftime with the score. Thomas Hayward Academy 40, Hilton Head Prep 21. Stay tuned for the Mike Rickenbaugh halftime show. How old is your heating and air system? 10 years or more? Replacing an old HVAC system with a new one is 250% more efficient. Look for the Energy Star rating and let a qualified professional make sure you get the right unit for your home or business. Big Equity Ventures is looking to purchase your commercial or residential real estate assets, commercial income producing businesses, new luxury car dealerships for sale, or any other appraisable asset currently worth and currently valued at over $2 million or more that is owned free and clear by highly motivated and cooperative sellers. For more information, contact us now. Visit our website at BigEquityLLC.com, email us at info at BigEquityLLC.com, or call us at 404-514-3109. We are Palmetto Electric Cooperative, your touchstone energy partner. We are so much more, more than a gym, more than a swimming pool. 
more than programs and soccer fields, more than yoga and Tabata class. We believe that in healthy communities, people change and grow, from exercise to education, volleyball to volunteerism, preschool to prevention. We don't just strengthen bodies, we strengthen minds and inspire spirits. You don't just belong to a gym, you belong to the YMCA of Beaufort County. And we welcome you into the Mike Rickenbaugh Chevrolet Halftime Show. Nothing like we expected <laughs> compared to what we saw from these two teams last week. That, last week, these two teams combined had 15 points. Here at halftime tonight, we have 61 on the board. And I don't think they're going to stop at 61 either. They, they really have exploded here in the, in, the, in the second game of the year. But, you know, Chris, that's typically what happens. The, the biggest um, improvement that you see in the season is from week one to week two. And that's paid off here. They got that training camp behind them, got the first game out of the way, and now they're ready to execute. Great, great coaching by both uh, by bo both head coaches. Logan Thomas, the quarterback for Thomas Hayward Academy. Right away, he went to the air today. Zach Black, yeah. the big freshman's been a target on the ground. J.R. Patterson, what do you think of these two freshmen? And Coach Nick Schufert, he's got to love what he sees coming out of them for the future. Oh, yeah, it's four good years. I mean, and, and, and when you have these small schools, these kids get playing times early in their career. So that's one of the reasons why they're out there as a freshman. And uh, believe me, by the time they're a senior, uh, they'll, they'll, be, they'll be doing something special. I'm seeing the front defensive line of Thomas Hayward Academy start to take its toll on prep and not really giving them a whole lot of time to execute. What do you think prep's going to need to do in the second half to go ahead and get back into this one and possibly overcome the deficit that they've got so far? Well, they're going to have to make some stops defensively, first of all. That's the first thing they have to do, be able to stop them. They gave up six touchdowns. So coming in the second half, you got to get stops. And if you do, then you got a chance to get back in the, in the football game. 21 points they scored, prep did in the first half. That's not a bad out, out, outcome for the first half of scoring. They score another 21 points. They should be able to win the football game. Stone McDonald, the quarterback for prep, it seemed every time they got down, he came up with a big play a couple of times. He's showing a lot for a sophomore. Yeah. He's got to go ahead and make sure that they don't have any more turnovers there, wouldn't you say? Chris, he showed a lot as a freshman too last year. I'm sure. He's a, a heck of a, have a quarterback, a great effort. You know, and uh, you know, he just has to get that the big guys up front to get them going. They're doing they're they're running a lot of misdirection plays and uh, they're getting the ball on the outside through their speedsters and uh, and McDonald's doing the rest inside himself. He's really the interior threat. So like we said, we had quite a low scoring effort out of both teams last week. This week we have anything but. So it should be interesting to see what happens here in the second half. When we come back, we're going to have Chuck and his cheerleaders right after this. Mike Rickenball Chevrolet is proud to support high school football. I'm Mike Rickenball, and our game is on with the special offer for football fans. The new 2017 Chevy Silverado, featuring high-strength steel that delivers. Save up to 20% off MSRP at Mike Rickenball Chevrolet. Dependable, confident performance. Chevrolet Silverado. Nobody says trucks like Mike Rickaball Chevrolet. Before you buy, give us a try. Find new roads. John Paul II Catholic School is committed to preparing students for the challenges of life through intellectual, physical, and spiritual programs that advance academic excellence, leadership, service to others, while fostering discipleship according to the traditions of the Catholic faith. Our core values of service, holiness, integrity, excellence, leadership, and diversity are represented by the shield of our mascot, the Golden Warrior. Color click today to see all the great things going on at John Paul II Catholic School. Sports Zone, located in the heart of Bluffton, is the place for all team uniforms, school uniforms, trophies, awards, banners, embroidery, signage, vehicle lettering, screen printing, and magnetics. Small orders or large orders, we can do it all. Sports Zone is locally owned and operated by Doug and Janet Counts. Stop in and see us at 12 Johnston Way in Bluffton, across from the post office, or call us at 843 837 9663. As always, an important part of the halftime show is chucking the cheerleaders, and we have the cheerleaders here from Hilton Head Prep High School, and we're going to let them introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Anna, and I'm a sophomore. I'm Savannah and I'm a junior. I'm Kylie and I'm a senior. I'm Alyssa and I'm a senior. I'm Erica and I'm a sophomore. And they're gonna do a cheer for us. What cheer are you gonna do for us, girls? Fire it up. Okay, are you ready? Yes. All right, let's get fire up. 
Cheerleaders from Hilton Head Prep High School. There they are. Mike Rickenball Chevrolet is proud to support high school football. I'm Mike Rickenball, and our game is on with the special offer for football fans. The new 2017 Chevy Silverado, featuring high strength steel that delivers. Save up to 20% off MSRP at Mike Rickenball Chevrolet. Dependable, confident performance. Chevrolet Silverado. Nobody says trucks like Mike Rickenball Chevrolet. Before you buy, give us a try. Find new roads. Covert Air. Preventative maintenance, emergencies, new units. We are Covert Air, serving Bluffton 24-7. For all your heating and air conditioning, no one can compare. Big Equity Ventures is looking to purchase your commercial or residential real estate assets, commercial income producing businesses, new luxury car dealerships for sale, or any other appraisable asset currently worth and currently valued at over $2 million or more that is owned free and clear by highly motivated and cooperative sellers. For more information, contact us now. Visit our website at BigEquityLLC.com, email us at info at BigEquityLLC.com, or call us at 404-514-3109. We are Palmetto Electric Cooperative, your Touchdown Energy Partner. I'm Jeff Altoff with Low Country Insurance Services. At Low Country Insurance, we know Hurricane Matthew was devastating for many. I can honestly say that our customers have learned the true value of having a professional, independent insurance agent advocate on their behalf, especially when dealing with these claims. We want to help you with your insurance. We are local and we care. Make the right choice, Low Country Insurance Services. And we're kicking off here in the second half of the Rival County Bowl. A short kick taken by Thomas Hayward and they've got the ball up to about their own 43 yard line. So once again, Chuck, that shorter field to start with, they will be working downwind here in the third quarter. Not that it's really mattered as far as the passing goes. They've been airing it out both ways and having success both quarterbacks have. Well, Chris, I'll tell you, it really matters. It's, it's, it's a side squad. Uh, Hilton Head Preps out there playing 23 players on their squad. That's what they dressed today. And you got Thomas Hayward dressed 36 players. And you can see towards the end of the first quarter and the second quarter, fatigue set in. There were a couple of mistakes made. And that's the reason why Thomas Hayward was able to get some big scores, whether you want to admit it or not. Sometimes Logan you Thomas take a takes off. it. He's looking to throw, and he's going down. Big number 55. Up by number 55, and number 10, Logan Blair. Gets a loss of about five. 55 is. <laughs> we we're trying to come up with his number. It's not on our roster. Unfortunately, we don't have him on our <laughs> roster. Great play, though. <laughs> it's just what you needed too. Make it a second and 15. Wow, there's a hit. And in the first two plays here, the second half, Prep is trying to establish themselves defensively because neither team was able to stop points from getting on the board in the first half. Well, this is what I said. Gates Holbrook, Holbrook, number 12, comes up, makes a hit behind the line he's of scrimmage. He's had a few very good hits today. And he's also a running back. So you can see when you're so fresh, So third and 16, well. and now we got some more pressure on Logan Thomas. He airs it out. And it's incomplete, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Well, they forced a punt, something they hadn't been able to do in the past. And you can see what they the haven't rest done much punting at all today. You know, it, it's again, 
the size of the squad, the fatigue of the players, I mean, it's when you got 23 players out there, you know some guys are going both ways. But as we said at halftime, Prep has got to start putting the pressure on Logan Thomas, not yeah. giving him much time, and really start to penetrate that backfield because they haven't had an answer for that offense in the first half. But they did what they had to do. Now they're back to punt. So Roman Padgett to punt it away. Roman Padgett to punt. And it's taken right there by number 12, Gage Hurlbutt, and he's got a little bit of running room, and he's going to get prep over the 50-yard line. Different team. Different They're team. going to start at Thomas Hayward's, looks like about their 48. Just a different team. They come out here refreshed. The sun went, went away. It's cloudy now. We're thinking about rain a little later. Now these guys get a little bit of rest, and look how well they're able to execute. Great job. Nice, nice return. Number 12, that's Gage Hurlbutt. Scooter, five foot seven, 157 pounds. Just a scooter out there. Stone McDonald brings them out. He turns to the right and throws that pass over to Tyler Rice that they had some success with in the first half. Not able to pull it off this time. Yeah. Trying to throw a flanker screen out there where they had a lot of success in the first half. Unfortunately, the ball slipped out of the quarterback's hand, Stone McDonald. Another big play for Chipper from his defensive hand spot. Second down, 14 to go for the Dolphins from their 46. So they are saying that was complete. He caught it though and was down when he caught it. So it's second and they're looking at about 14 now. Stone McDonald throws it out to the side and that's going nowhere. Hits Hunter Hopman, but Hunter got hit just as he got the ball, and now we're going to have third and long. Yeah, Jacob Masters also is a backup quarterback and a linebacker number four from Thomas Hayward comes over and reads it really well. They try to throw a flanker screen to the wide side of the field. Generally, you throw flanker screens into the sideline, try to get it on a short field. This time they throw it to wide field. That's where usually the extra player is. 11 players usually is put the... He, a odd man goes to the wide field. Third and long, McDonald back to pass. Screen. Throws a little screen pass off there to number 22, Tate Wilkinson. And that's going to bring up fourth down. We have a flag. Usually thrown in the area where we see holding. Let's see what we have here. Referee Mike Grant, his crew, all from North Charleston. What? Really? I got a holding penalty. It's red. 55. 10 yard penalty. Replay third down. So interesting. Thomas Hayward Academy accepts the penalty. It would have been fourth down. Now it's going to be third and even longer. Oh, no. Now they change their mind. They're going to decline the penalty. It's going to bring up fourth down. And we get to see a punt. We get to see a punt. Technical College of the Low Country, make it happen no matter what. Technical College of the Low Country. Number two, Caleb Tuss. Well, that's a shame with prep. They came out and number 10, ready for, ready and got some pretty good field position, but they weren't able to convert and turn it into points. Logan Blair back to punt. He's been a busy man tonight. Gets a nice kick away into the wind. Fair catch signified and caught by number two, Caleb Tufts. And when we come back, Hayward Academy will take over. 9-18 left in the third quarter. Have you been hurt on the job, injured in a car accident, experiencing marital difficulties? Nairt and Dubois are attorneys located on the south end of Hilton Head Island. With their extensive experience and knowledge of the law, they can help you on your legal matter. Nairt and Dubois offer free initial consultation. So whether you have been hurt on the job, injured in a car accident, or experiencing marital difficulties, call the attorneys of Nairt and Dubois now to schedule an appointment to learn about your legal rights. Hi, I'm Colette Stevenson. And I'm Tom Reed with the Hilton Head Multiple Listing Service. Did you know you can search for homes in the same reliable database your local real estate professionals use? That's right. Locating property for sale in the area or finding an agent is easy on HiltonHeadMLS.com or on the HHI MLS app, which is free. MLS is what makes the real estate market work, so when you're ready to move, connect with Hilton Head MLS. On behalf of all of the Hilton Head MLS members, we want to wish all of our local high school football teams a safe and successful football season. 
So Thomas Hayward takes over, first play. There was a penalty on that punt and it backed him up even farther. It looks like they got a couple on first down. J.R. Patterson, who's been a busy young man this evening, had the ball. Yeah, just to go back and look at the offense that Prep had when they got the ball the first time this the second half. You know, they weren't efficient with the ball and they fell behind schedule and forced into passing downs by not getting enough yarders on first down and some penalties. And that's the reason why they were forced to punt. And there's a little flare pass sent out to number 15, Joseph Gibson. Tyler Rice on the stop along with Gabe Trillbutt. And that's enough for a Thomas Hayward first down, gain of about And Thomas Hayward Academy is wasting no time getting back up. That was a big equity venture first down. Well, that's what's wore him down in the first half was that there no huddle offense come out. And that's, you know, fatigue just make, doesn't make you as, as good as players as you should be. Oh, wow. Logan Thomas hands it off up the middle. There's no running room that time for number two, Caleb Tufts. Yeah, that, that's for prep number 51, Brad Kaiser steps in. He's only a freshman. Kaiser steps in. He's seen that play enough. He was able to beat the trap block. Number 51 came through around the offensive guard and made a beautiful tackle back behind the line of scrimmage. So second down now. Logan Thomas takes it, he's looking to throw, a little pass across the middle, incomplete to number four, Jacob Masters. That's gonna bring up third down and nine. Ben Bellucci almost had himself a pick there. He did. That would have turned things around in a hurry. Can't drop those balls, you gotta hang on to them, Ben. And those are the ones usually when they get tipped, you see get picked off, because they get yep. batted up in the air. Logan Thomas throws it up the left side and Mr. Reliable for him in the first half. Zach Black isn't able to hold on to that one and we bring up another punting situation here. Yeah, it's Zach Black number eight. Only a freshman, he'll learn. Came in there on the slant route. They made some big plays in the first half. He was a big reason why they were able to score 40 points. And now we get another rarity, another punt. Roman Patchett back to punt for Thomas Hayward Academy. Little high snap, off it goes. And short kick, especially downwind, and it looks like it's gonna be down just about at midfield. So when we come back, Hilton Ed Prep will have the ball, down 40 to 21. If you need new appliances, we invite you to visit Billy Wood Appliance. Whether your needs are for the kitchen, laundry room, or patio, we have you covered. Our live showroom enables you to experience appliances from more than 50 manufacturers, including Wolf, Sub-Zero, Gin Air, and Whirlpool. You can literally try before you buy. Only selling appliances, our experienced staff recommends the best products based upon your needs. We offer competitive pricing, delivery, and factory certified installers. Visit our convenient Mid-Island showroom or see us on the web at Billy Wood. Hilton Head Island Recreation Association is a nonprofit organization dedicated to improving the quality of life for people of all ages, committed to monitoring the recreation needs of the community and instituting change where needed. Island Rec has the only public pool on the island, sports camps year-round, all-day summer camp, before and after school care, family fun events, open gym, and adult activities. Visit our website, call, or stop in to learn more about how Island Rec can improve your quality of life. First down now for prep. They start just over midfield to the Thomas Hayward 49 and a half yard line. Stone McDonald looking to pass. He's going to take off and he's got some room to run. He's going to get all the way down to just outside the 30 yard line. That's going to be a big equity ventures first down. Looked like a broken play there. He just saw a hole and took off Chuck. Only a sophomore. I know we saw him play last year as a freshman. He got some playing time, but this guy kept his poise. He's That's able to sidestep and avoid the, the rush. Somebody came through, came through, had a great shot, clear shot at him. Stone was able to pull the ball down and run it for a Colbert error first down. And it's so important that they get on the board next because if Thomas Hayward scores next, it's going to be an awfully long road back in. Stone McDonald gets a little tied up and does a good job just to hold on to the ball, and that's going to bring up second down and probably close to 
15 or so. We have to thank Covert Air as always when it comes to the air you and your family breathe. Don't settle on letting just anybody take care of you. Call the South Carolina Low Country's most referred and preferred HVAC company, Covert Air. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. 706-5090, 706-5090. Little flare pass out to the side there for Hunter Hopman. Off his fingertips, that's Matthew gonna bring up third and 15. Well, that was a really Zach. dangerous pass. Sorry, Number Zach. eight, Zach and Black. We've seen him all over the field offensively. Defensively, he played his corner. The freshman all, almost had a pick. And we know that if he got that ball in his hands, he knows the way to how to the house, right? Oh, wow. What a performance that guy's done today. So third and 15 now, Stone McDonald looking to try to get Hilton Head prep on the board next. So they're almost in two down territory from here? Yeah, at this stage they are. And he throws it down. He's looking for big number one, Tyler Rice, and it's incomplete. J.R. Patterson, the freshman, breaks it up. Does a nice job too, because it looks like he's doing, he's getting, giving away probably seven, eight inches. Yeah, and fatigue's starting to set in right now. Rice shows that he's got a little bit of a cramp or pulled his muscle a little bit. So what we were talking about, about so nobody's really cramped up yet. It's just a matter of time before they start Number doing two, it. Taylor it's hot. Pace. I'm sorry, Taylor Pace. So Logan Blair into punt. Prep will punt it away on fourth and 15. Low snap handled by Blair. Gives a little pooch kick down at the left corner there. And he didn't quite get it where he wanted to, but Thomas Hayward Academy will take over at about the 23-yard line. We're at 40-21 to 21 here in the Rival County Bowl. Mike Rickenball Chevrolet is proud to support high school football. I'm Mike Rickenball, and our game is on with the special offer for football fans. The new 2017 Chevy Silverado, featuring high strength steel that delivers. Save up to 20% off MSRP at Mike Rickenball Chevrolet. Dependable, confident performance. Chevrolet Silverado. Nobody says trucks like Mike Rickenball Chevrolet. Before you buy, give us a try. Find new roads. So Thomas Hayward, first and 10, and a little counter play up the middle, and pretty effectively done, and that pile just keeps going, number taken by number five, five Zach Bond. Looked like they had him tied up there at the line of scrimmage and just passed it, Chuck, and they just kept pushing it. Oh, they did too. You got Pablo Orozco, number 68 in center. He's had a heck of a day. You watch him right in the middle of there, putting a block on the linebacker and pushing forward. So it'll bring up second and short. 6.13 left in the third quarter. Logan Thomas takes it, fakes a pitch, hands it off on the inside to number six, River Pender, and he's got a Big Equity Ventures first down. Big Equity Ventures, purchasing commercial real estate and assets valued over $2 million. Call Big Equity today at 404-514-3109. Tyler Rice here saves a touchdown, number 10, but I want to, or number one. But I want to tell you, that's a tired team. Look at the hands on the hips. You, you see can the hands see it. On the hips? We were talking about it last week. We're seeing it again this week. Yeah. When the hands go to the hips, you are tired. First and 10 now, Thomas Hayward from just their side of the 50, and that's a play up the middle that's going to lose a few. Well, I want to tell you, somebody read their scouting report. The guy that read the scouting report for Prep was number 10, Logan Blair. That guy is all over the place. He comes in, he looks at the down and distance, the formation, he comes up, and he stuffs the blocking back behind the line of scrimmage by three yards, and he's the reason why they lose two yards on that play. Caleb Tufts had nowhere to go on that play. I mean, that was all number 10. And he, he, read, it, he, he read his play sheet. Logan Blair, who's also the punter, fine defensive play, and we've got a little bit of movement there, and that's going to back them up five more. I got a dead ball for our white. Big procedure here. Five yard penalty. Still playing second down. And that's Luke Bond, who got a little over anxious there. That's okay, Luke. It happens. And I'm, a, I'm an ex-offensive lineman, and I, I, I just hate that when you make a mistake, and that's it exactly happens, when they call uh, your name. It happens to the best of them. <laughs> we have another flag down on the field as 
Logan Thomas Logan airs Thomas it out once again for Zach Black. Zach Black. Let's see what Mike Grant's crew has here. Generally, you get a flag right away. It's usually a procedure penalty of some sort. That flag came right away, right on the snap of the ball. Division substitution. No, substitution. That's a five-yard penalty. Five. Replay second down. So we have an illegal substitution. We're going to replay second down. I mean, that, that hurts because you had a would have been a third down, long third down. Now it's a long second down, but still, it's a big difference, five yards. And an extra down. So it's going to be second and 12 now. Mike Rickenbaugh Chevrolet, before you buy, give us a try. Well, let's see, we played a call, call for Logan Thomas. He has a lot of good presence out there on the field. Nice, nice, nice leader. He's got a nice support staff, too. Logan Thomas pitches it to J.R. Patterson, who's got nowhere to go, but he turns something into nothing. And there goes Patterson, who they had in the backfield. He's going down the sideline, and he's going to get out inside the 20-yard line for a big equity ventures first down. No, check that. It'll be about the 25. And they had him for about a seven-yard loss. And now it looks like we might have a personal foul also on Hilton Head Prep. Wow. All right, let's see what we have going on here now. This is going to really... We have a lot of flags all over the place. Yeah. We have four flags on the play. What do they do? They throw the flag first, and then if they see something else, then they throw their hat. Is that correct? But at they least they still, have their, they still have their hats <laughs> on, so that's good. Four different infractions. Wow, well, we'll let the... Referee, we'll we'll let referee out. Mike Grant tell us what's going on here as soon as he gets it figured out. <laughs> well, it's been an exciting football game, that's for sure. And there's a lot of action, a lot of long plays. And, well, uh, while they're trying to figure out, let's remind everybody of the Salty Dog Cafe. Come join us at the Salty Dog Cafe at South Beach Marina or our new location at Tanger 2. And get your Salty Dog t-shirt at the Salty Dog t-shirt factory or anytime at saltydog.com. Now, it's hard to believe last week Thomas Hayward only scored eight points in the way they've been running up and down the field today. But, you know, despite the fact they scored eight points, they did run for three, three, they did have 300 yards of total offense. And they were averaging 7.6 yards a carry. I mean, so, uh, and I just couldn't understand how they only end up with eight points. But uh, tonight's not the case. I mean, they're well over 300 yards already. And uh, obviously they, they have more than eight points. Well, we saw it last week. How many times did um, John Paul II Dead or Christian? Foul. Foul. Dead ball foul. One, okay. okay. Okay, and I got a, I got a live dead ball, red. He goes, so penalize red on a live dead ball foul. We have another personal foul against Do we have numbers, sir? So it looks like Prep is going to get penalized here. It looks like both teams had a dead ball foul, and... What suit was Trump? I would say that's the best way to put it. And Coach Dave Adams is asking for an explanation because he's trying to figure out why if the other team had a penalty also why it's not going to be offsetting and they redo the play i should say which soup was 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 trump oh wow well here we're getting a replay they think it's mo it's just emotion they thought it was well, it looks like we had two people in motion at the same time and i know that's not allowed J.R. Patterson does a great job of getting away from the tackle, and once he does, he's got a whole lot of open field. Well, field position is obviously a big part of tonight's game, and if they get the ball within 50, 60 yards of the, of the goal line, teams have been able to score tonight. So the shorter the field. So let's see what we see here. There's, yeah, uh, there's three people in motion at the same time. Yeah. And no flag. Well, 
looked like a little Canadian football there. I played that. I've seen some yes, people. Yes, they got everybody in motion there, and they're running at the line of scrimmage before the snap comes at full speed. <laughs> Good thing they only give you three downs to get a first down on Canada. Otherwise, the score would be So are we bring it back to midfield. Is that is that what it looks like we're doing now? I'm not quite sure, Chris. Now they're explaining to Coach Nick Schuford of Thomas Hayward Academy why the ball isn't going to be down near the 25-yard line. Maybe they're going to mark off 15 from the spot of the original snap. Well, big plays are the single most important factor in winning football games, and we've certainly seen big plays on both sides, but we've seen more by Thomas Hayward. He's played a lights out game. Gets uh, treated here. The 15 yard penalty against the Dolphins to the. So 15 yards is going to be marked off against the Dolphins. Ultimately, that's what it's come down to. So the ball is going to be just about at the 39 yard line, and that's going to be a big Equity Ventures first down. So after all that, I think now we figured it out. That was actually a very well appreciated play. Well, you're on the plus side of the field. They're shrinking the football field. And the way they've been moving the football, they're in a good field position. First down on the opposing team's 39 yard line. Prep has to come up with a stop here. Now, just as they're getting ready to go, referee Mike Grant puts the hold on things. I mean, this break actually favors prep a little bit. I mean, Gives them a chance to catch their wind. Yeah. Well, you got guys on one and two knees up there up front. Logan Thomas takes it. He's looking to throw the ball. He throws it over to number four, Jacob Masters, who takes it inside the 30, gets it down to about the 22-yard line. Wow. Oh. And we've got another flag. We're going to have a flag on the flag. Did, did he get a piece of the face mask? No, I'm not sure what they're calling on this. But flanker screen, well, well devised play, well executed. Receiver came back, got the th got a direct throw, caught it below. Let's the see what Mike Grant has one. to say here. All right, we got an unsportsmanlike conduct. That's number four White spiking the ball. Oh, that's a 15-yard penalty. Wow. So now number four, Jacob Masters, who caught that ball, he's going to be called for a 15-yard spiking the football. No, no. Head coaches like Nick Schufer just hate this. I mean, oh, hey, look at a block on the outside by num number six. God, that was River Pender. Breaks him through. Four, Jacob Masters makes a great run. He gets up and spikes. Oh, wow, that's a tough one. That is really wow. tough. Yeah, I, mm. that's tough. You think that's a little touchy, that call? Yeah, I do. But, yeah, uh, I agree. Yeah, spike's a spike. And... So a handoff right up the middle. Goes to number six, River Pender. Number six, River Pender. He picks up a couple. Stopped by Davis Tucky and number 77, Brad Kaiser. Gets a pick up of about Well, both teams have been running out of the seven. shotgun tonight. And you know we haven't seen too many missteps or mishandling of the football from the center to quarterback. Doing quite a good job. That's a direct snap. Thomas back ball. to pass. He gets some pressure. He gets away. Here's another good block, and he's going to take it and throw it downfield, and it's incomplete. His target was number three, Dalton Steedley. Wow. So a good job by Logan Thomas of avoiding the sack and almost making something out of nothing. Logan Thomas just showing us all sorts of athletic ability. The 5'9", 180-pound senior has been the First general five, tonight. Red, number 51. That's a 15-yard penalty. We play second down. And we have another personal foul. Yeah, Logan Thomas, number one, looked like a jackrabbit on the way to the frying pan. I mean, he was just dancing all over the place. And so now, that's going to that's gonna produce a big equity ventures first down. 
Boy, that hurts. Moving at 15 yards against prep for them down here at this end of the field. But it, you don't want to go down another score. You're down about as far as you can be down. This is huge. Let's see what they can do up front. Okay, first and 10 from the 19 now. Thomas Hayward threatening to get in the end zone again. Logan Thomas back to pass. A little screen over there to J.R. Patterson who trips himself up a little bit. Maybe picked up two or three. Uh, Tommy Stuffer makes a great play. The freshman, 5'8", 130 pounds. I mean, he was the only guy out there between him and the, and, and the goal line. Game of two on the floor, second and eight. Logan Thomas looking in to get the play from coach Nick Shuford's staff. Yeah, those defensive linemen, they're they look tired. The stance, well, they're forced to hold the stance when they're getting the call to play from the sideline with the no huddle offense. It wears on you. And let's see what Mike Graham got delay again. White, five yard penalty. Still play second down. So delay a game that time on Thomas, Thomas Hayward Academy. It seems as though they were taking a little while and in the end it got them. So that's going to cost them five. It's going to bring up second and 13. Yeah. Oh, and there's a little pass to a wide open number three. Dalton Steedley, and he's going to take it. Right down, did he get that in? He sure did, he got it in for a TCL touchdown. And that's the last thing Hilton Head Prep needed to have happen at this point. So oh. a fine little pat pitch and catch there from Logan Thomas to Dalton Steedley, and this is gonna increase Thomas. Oh, uh, yeah, look at this. Well, it's, it's just what you expect when you only, you have 23 players, Hot day, they've been out there. You're playing a team that's got 36 players, comparable talent. They're just too many. CJ Cleland in to try the extra point. And this one's blocked. So the score, Thomas Hayward Academy 46, Hilton Head Prep 21. I interviewed four or five companies, and Hilton Head Exterminators impressed me the most. Customer reviews like this are a result of Hilton Head Exterminators' commitment, reputation, and tradition for five-star service. They are knowledgeable, timely, considerate, and provide exceptional service. Our experience with Hilton Head Exterminators has been excellent. What has been unique is their quality of service. Hilton Head Exterminators is the best. Combine all of our customer reviews into three words, and you get five-star service from Hilton Head Exterminators. I want my kids to have access to health care I can trust. That's why I'm glad I chose Blue Choice Health Plan Medicaid. They coordinate my family's healthy connection services, remind me to get my kids shots and checkups, and give me approved added benefits like a car seat at no cost. That sure makes it easier to get the right health care for me and my kids. Get the care you need when you need it with Blue Choice Health Plan Medicaid. If ever there was a time for prep to get the ball and put a drive together, that time is now and a nice deep kickoff and they're gonna just touch it down and start at their own 20. A good choice right there by number 21, Hunter Hoffman. A uh, real good presence of mind. <laughs> ball goes in the end zone in high school football. It's an automatic touchback. There's no running the ball out of the end zone in high school football, Chris. So prep now with 3.08 left in the third quarter. Stone McDonald looking to take them down and get them some points on the board here before we get to the fourth quarter. Hunter Hopman in motion. Stone McDonald's pass is incomplete. Stone McDonald was looking for Tyler Rice on that play, a little underthrown. Rice a little slow to get up. Yeah, that was, ball left his hand. Looked like it slipped out of his hand. You watch it here. He's thrown better passes than this. Yeah, it looked like that when he lost it about halfway through the throw. Yeah. A little bit of a wounded duck. 
We've seen him throw a lot better today than that. So McDonald takes it and he's gonna air it out again. And this one's almost intercepted by J.R. Patterson, who's doing a nice job over in that left corner. Yeah, it went up against a guy six foot two, 170 pounds. And Tate Wilkinson, number 22, was able to pull, knock the ball away from him. So oh. all of a sudden we're at third and 10 here. Yeah, and only three minutes left in the third quarter. Dolphins have to come up with something here. And McDonald's coming to the short side of the field and he throws off his other foot. And he hits number nine. That's Kwame Minta. He's got him, and I think that's a big venture. Big Equity Ventures first down, it sure is. Kwame's a senior. Makes a nice catch here, but an even nicer throw. Look how he gets around, turns his shoulders. See the shoulders facing the receiver, and he's able to get a good delivery off. Squared them right up. Yeah, I mean, nicely done. I'm a good, great footwork. That, that's not as easy as it looks. An inside handoff to Hunter Hopman, who's got a little bit of room to run, and he's going to pick up a first down. So two big, two big equity venture first downs back to back, and Prep is on a roll. Yeah, this is this variation of the snipping scissors inside. They counter one way, and they come back with the wing back coming inside, takes the inside hand off from the quarterback, and he's off, off and running. So well, two plays good. in a row that had misdirection that has worked for them. Let's see if they can keep doing it. From about the 48-yard line now, Hunter Hopman in motion again. Oh, and there's a wide open Tyler Rice, and he's going to get down inside the 30-yard line. Another Down to about the 27. Somebody might have missed an assignment here, Chuck. No, they, they, the assignment was, look, the, look at the fake pitch out. They see the runner over there, and the quarterback came up because he thought it was a pitch. This is a really well-designed play with the option to hit the wide receiver on a fake pitch to the running back into the sideline. That's a heck of a play. J.R. Patterson bit on it and put Tyler Rice in open field, and now Preps moving down. They're down to the 27 now. 216 left in the third quarter. And another misdirection play to Hunter Hopman. This one not with quite the same amount of success. Tackles made by Joseph Gibson. Yeah, good, good inside play that time. It wasn't quite the execution they needed inside to run that play, but uh, we'll, we'll, I'm sure we'll see that again. Nice job that time by the defense. That play lost one. We're looking at second and 11 now. Evan Brazil, number 51, going both ways, made the play. Stone McDonald's going to keep this one and try to pick up a little yardage, and he got a little bit of something, but not enough, and that's going to bring up third and long. Stone's in pretty good shape. As much action as he's had, running from sideline to sideline, throwing the football. football. You're saying he's going to sleep well tonight? Is that oh. what you're saying? He's gonna sleep well, but he's in, he's in great condition. Third and 12 now. And he drops the ball, but he picks it back up. Does a great job of getting it and hits number nine, Kwame Agi Minta. And he takes it all the way down to, looks like just about the 15 or just inside the 15 for a big equity ventures first down. This is the same play they had ran effectively two plays ago. They just run it the other way. Watch the inside handoff or fake the inside handoff. Outside receiver comes back, runs a stop pattern about 10 yards down the field, sets up. The linebacker commits and comes up for the run and then he throws over the missing linebacker to the wide open receiver. So is misdirection the other way this time. Number 22, Tate Wilkinson takes it. Clock's going to keep Wilkinson running. Here, tackles made by number five, Zach Bond. It's a pickup of fourth and Dolphins to about the 13. So Hilton Head Prep plodding down the field. See some of the Prep students there under the helmet enjoying the evening.
Stone McDonald rolling to the right and he's looking to, he was looking to run at first and now he's just going to throw it away. Smart play there. He would have taken a pretty substantial loss. He took a hard hit. He did. He got himself hit pretty hard too that time. I, I'm, I'm almost surprised they didn't throw a flag for roughing the passer on that. I mean, it's, it may, maybe they did. I don't know. No, I guess not. But He took a bad hit. Illegal man downfield. No. Number 55, Grant. That's a five-yard penalty. Replay third down. Oh, they got an extra down out of it. Oh, not that, not that bad. I thought I thought Stone took a really, really bad hit at the end of the play there. McDonald was hit just as he was throwing and going out of bounds. Well, I'm betting he's looking for number number nine. Thomas Taylor takes a time out to talk to the officials. And that's, uh, we have a Village Park Homes timeout. We'll be back right after this. Hilton Head PSD offers convenient and secure online billing. Just have your PSD bill handy and click on the online bill payment button at hhpsd.com. You'll be guided through the steps to establish your online billing account. Their payment options allow you to set up recurring credit card payments, you can view your consumption history, and more. Remember to have your PSD bill handy when you visit hhpsd.com to get started. Hilton Head PSD, we're always working for you. Well, Prep's got to figure out a way to get into the end zone, Chris. They certainly do. Down by 25. So we're looking at third and about seven now. Stone McDonald definitely looking to have something happen here. And incomplete pass. He was looking for number one, Tyler Rice, and that's going to take us all the way through the third quarter. Fourth down. So, as we get done the third quarter, Thomas Hayward, 46, Hilton Head Prep, 21. We'll be back right after this. Bigger is not always better. A big HVAC system may get you to the desired temperature quicker, but the end result is wildly fluctuating temps and a loss of efficiency. And that translates to a loss of money. When it comes to HVAC, size really does matter. Big Equity Ventures is looking to purchase your commercial or residential real estate assets, commercial income producing businesses, new luxury car dealerships for sale, or any other appraisable asset currently worth and currently valued at over $2 million or more that is owned free and clear by highly motivated and cooperative sellers. For more information, contact us now. Visit our website at BigEquityLLC.com, email us at info at BigEquityLLC.com, or call us at 404-514-3109. I interviewed four or five companies, and Hilton Head Exterminators impressed me the most. Customer reviews like this are a result of Hilton Head Exterminators' commitment, reputation, and tradition for five-star service. They are knowledgeable, timely, considerate, and provide exceptional service. Our experience with Hilton Head Exterminators has been excellent. What has been unique is their quality of service. Hilton Head Exterminators is the best. Combine all of our customer reviews into three words, and you get five-star service from Hilton Head Exterminators. Oh, 
And we're back. Stone McDonald takes the snap. He lobs it to the right corner. It's a jumping contest. And Tyler Rice tried to come down with it, but he wasn't able to. Tyler Rice is incomplete. Nice well, what a play, play by number 23. By number 21. And they're going to turn it over on downs. So Thomas Hayward Academy is going to take over. JR Deep Patterson. in their own category, or deep in their own territory. J.R. Patterson, he's the guy that's been running the football, and he makes an incredible play in the back of the end zone there. Is it only a freshman. Oh, my goodness. Giving up a lot of inches again, but he gets up there high enough to break that one up and stop Tyler Rice from grabbing it for a touchdown. Who's he going to play for next year? <laughs> Good question. He's only a freshman. Oh, my goodness. Nick schufer has got to love that. Logan Thomas drops the snap, picks it up, and by the time everything is Logan shuffled Thomas out here, we're going to probably be at about second and ten or so. Pass. A little extracurricular activity over there in the center field. Zach Bond yeah. able to pick Randy that up and player. avoid any disaster there for Thomas Hayward Academy. Yeah, prep starting to get guys like to drop down. Number 12, no. got hurt Gage, Gage Hurlbutt. Hurlbutt. He's played a heck of a game and delivered a few hard hits. And it looks like he's shaken up on the play. As we said, only 23 players on the roster are dressed for the game tonight for prep. Versus 36 for Thomas Hayward Academy. And believe me, I, here we are in the fourth quarter. And these, these guys are feeling it, going both ways. Some of them are playing on special teams. This is I mean, when it starts to show up, right, Chuck? Yeah. You got to be in shape to play this game. Second and 11 now. Caleb Tufts in motion. It's an inside handoff to number five, Zach Bond. Zach Bond, number five, the ball carrier. Tackle the well, I'll tell you Bond. one guy that's played a heck of a game. He's freshman sorry, Brad that, Kaiser, number 51. That was River Pender. And Kate Wilkinson, number 22. Yeah, that's good, Patterson coming back in. Third and five for the Rebels. Middle linebackers, Kaiser, made a great tackle on that time. He's calling the signal. He's the Third and out five there. now. Full backfield. Logan Thomas fumbles the snap, picks it up. Throws a little screen out to the right side. J.R. Patterson takes it, but he's got nowhere to go, and this is going to bring up fourth down. So it looks like Prep's going to get their hands back on the ball with just probably over 10 minutes left. Well, they haven't done much. The third third quarter was a blank for them. I mean, it, they're going to have to come up with some, something that is going to have to work, obviously. You're absolutely right. Hilton Head Exterminators, keeping low country homes and businesses bug free for nearly 50 years. HiltonHeadExterminators.com. Well, generally, what it usually, usually takes for a team to get back when you're down three scores is your quarterback. It's going to score or Roman make a big Roman Padgett plays. back to punt. He's punting into the wind and. Fielded pretty well there and by the number 21, Hunter Hopman, and he's going to give the prep some Hopman. pretty decent field position to start out again. Yeah, number three, Dalton Seedley coming in, making the tackle, wrapping him up. But they've got good field position now they're on the plus side of the 50-yard line at the 41. And as we mentioned before, when you start... On the other side, team's other side of the field, you got a much better chance of scoring. The odds are in your favor. 9.41 left. Technical College of the Low Country. Make it happen no matter what. Technical College of the Low Country. And it's an inside handoff to Hunter Hobman, and he's got some running room, and he's rumbling and bumbling all the way down to about the 24-yard line. Yeah, there's an inside handoff. The scissors play that I mentioned before. Come in with a lead black. They paid it, pulled the off tackle. Watch it. If we get it on replay, really well executed. Took them down for a big equity venture first down. Let's look at the salty dog replay here, Chuck. Yeah, he gets a good bl block. Number 12 came, but Gal Gage Hellbutt made the block, came over from the slot position, and that's the reason we were such a big hole. Stone McDonald now a little shuttle pass inside to Tate Wilkinson, and he takes it down to, looks like he takes it down to about the 23 or so. 
Oh, I'll tell you, that's, that's a dangerous play to run that inside. That is right there, the yeah. The shuttle pass Ooh. inside. But, you know, they, they, they're hitting with misdirection. They've had, obviously, success with it. Otherwise, they wouldn't have 21 points on the board after only scoring six last week. Second and nine now for Hilton Head Prep. Stone McDonald, he's going to keep it and run forward, and he's going to get some room there. Stone McDonald on the quarterback keeper to about the 20. Probably picked up about four yards. Tackles made by Bryce Tosin. Village Park Homes, your true hometown builder. Close to everything, far from ordinary. Village Park Homes. Well, at this part of the field, when you're in, Inside the 35 yard line, this is where your quarterback becomes a running back, and that's what the play design has been all night long. And once they get, you'll see McDonald run the ball in this area more than he does outside. Definitely still in two down territory here. And he throws it out to the right side, and he had Tyler Rice who couldn't hold on to it. J.R. Patterson was right with him again. J.R. Patterson, number 23, of course. Anything J.R. Patterson hasn't done tonight? I haven't seen him try an extra ball. point yet. Oh, I haven't seen word. him kick an extra point. So fourth and five now. Prep really looking to get on the board here. Dolphins are going for it here. Portland. Wilkinson comes out far to the right side. But they're going to take a timeout. Timeout. Good call. And we're going to have a Village Park Homes timeout. We'll be right back. John Paul II Catholic School is committed to preparing students for the challenges of life through intellectual, physical, and spiritual programs that advance academic excellence, leadership, service to others, while fostering discipleship according to the traditions of the Catholic faith. Our core values of service, holiness, integrity, excellence, leadership, and diversity are represented by the shield of our mascot, the Golden Warrior. Color click today to see all the great things going on at John Paul II Catholic School. I'm Jeff Altoff with Low Country Insurance Services. At Low Country Insurance, we know Hurricane Matthew was devastating for many. I can honestly say that our customers have learned the true value of having a professional, independent insurance agent advocate on their behalf, especially when dealing with these claims. We want to help you with your insurance. We are local and we care. Make the right choice, Low Country Insurance Services. So Hilton Head Prep looking at a big fourth and five here from just in just about the 20 yard line. Stone McDonald rolling to the right and he throws a little pass up in the air there again in the direction of Tyler Rice at J.R. Patterson's right there again. J.R. saying don't come my way anymore. I don't know it almost looked like he could have held on to that and picked up the first down didn't you think so? Uh, they, they, they were hot. They were in hot pursuit. I don't know if it, how much room he had, but um, you know, it's not a bad throw, not a bad decision to get the ball into the end zone to your tallest and best receiver. Now, I don't think he's going to make it, but that's a good throw. Just didn't come down with it. So Thomas Hayward Academy takes over at their own 20-yard line. 8.16 left in the fourth quarter of the rival County Bowl. Logan Thomas takes it and hands it off right up the middle and somebody's got a little bit of running room and it looks like it's number two, Caleb Tufts. And he takes it all the way out to the 45 yard line for a big equity ventures first down. Oh wow, just look at the offense of the job done by the offense line. And they just get the big push up the right side. So you got Evan Brazil, Number 51, 65, John Ewart. And center Paul Pablo Orozco leading the way. Well, we saw coming in, for those that might have looked at the stats last week, how many backs for Thomas Hayward ran the ball last week and how well they did it. Caleb Tufts with the ball again, and he's got some more yards. So this is a team that has a lot of weapons, and these weapons are pretty young, too. Talk about young, that was a young player, number 20, Jaden Holt. Obar who made a nice tackle, only a freshman. So I guess they're playing the guys as many as they can. They only have, a 20, as I mentioned, a 23-man roster. So if you want to line up for prep, you'll be playing. 
That's a big Equity Ventures first down, first and 10 now from the prep 45. <clears throat> and that's number 22, John Clark Tilton. He takes the ball down for about five yards. Ben Pellucci on the tackle, number 11. Just over seven minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. And Coach Nick Schufer is starting to shuffle a few more players in and out of this one now. Yeah, it's Katie barred the door right now. You're down 25 points with six minutes left in the game. And you don't have the football. Clock is running. Time to take the time out. And we have a Village Park Homes timeout. We'll be right back after this. Home is that magical spot where weekends happen. It's tea parties and superheroes. It's one more bedtime story. It's your first, your last, and everything in between. Home is where you belong. We get it. Whether it's your first home, your next home, or your dream home, we want to build you the very best home for your life. Let us help you get started. VillagePartHomes.com. Close to everything, far from ordinary. Did you know that 90% of the energy created by old-fashioned light bulbs is given off in heat? You're making heat and creating more work for your air conditioner. Save 75% or more with CFL or LED light bulbs in all of your fixtures. An energy tip from Covert Air. And on second and six, number 22 again gets the ball. John Tilton, and he's going to get oh, probably two or three more. Six, or maybe one. <laughs> so we're looking pretty close to third and five. Covert Air, when it comes to the air you and your family breathe, don't settle on letting just anybody take care of you. Call the South Country, or South Carolina Low Country's most referred and preferred HVAC company, Covert Air, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 705-706-5090. That's 706-5090. It's getting a little dark in here. I'm having trouble seeing the numbers, Chuck. Oh, well, a late start, 5 p.m. tonight. And a cloudy evening. For a short game of a Young guy game like you has got great eyesight, though. That should not bother you. <laughs> Maybe it's just this side. I've got to open my eyes a little bit wider. Well, I'll tell you, it was a great first half. I mean, both teams came out, were able to execute well, score, scored well. Number seven, Fatigue setting in in the second half got a little bit sloppy here, particularly for prep. As I mentioned, mainly because of squad side, at only 23 players. Roman Padgett back to punt. And we have a high snap over his head, and now the race is on to get to the ball. Roman picks it up, and he still gets it away. Happens to punt it out and bound sideways just a little bit, but that wasn't his fault. The snap was well over his head. Well, as you know, the, the kicker is not protected on this type of play. So when a ball goes over his head, it's a free ball, and he's a free man. So if he wants to kick it, he's going to take a lick at the end of it, and bang. But he did a great job to get rid of it. He sure did. So Hilton Head Prep gets a break. They're going to take over on the Thomas Hayward 30-yard line. Well, if I was the play caller, I'd get my quarterback on the, on the edge. Technical College of the Low Country. Make it happen no matter what. Technical College of the Low Country. Stone McDonald now hands it off. That's Hunter Hobman who's just going, and he's going to keep going all the way down to about the 13-yard line. That's going to be a big Equity Ventures first down. Oh, man, talk about a jackrabbit on the way to the frying pan. Holy cow, is he hopping around. Look at this, how many misses he makes. One, two, three, four. Boy, those are some nice moves. Uh, he made five guys miss. And he got out of bounds to stop the clock. 4.05 left now in the fourth quarter. Hopman in motion, and he gets the ball up again, right up the middle, and there he goes, and he fumbles it. No, he was down. He was down at about the goal line. 
Looks like he was down at maybe the two or three yard line there. Boy, there was a break for prep. Big break. That ball looked like it was going to go through the end zone. That would have been a touchback. Oh, they they, they got to punch the ball in here. They need to stay up and got to score in the second half. This sets the stage for next week. If you so can first and goal from the three yard line, Stone McDonald hands it off to Hunter Hopman again, and he is. Hunter Hopman takes it to the house. He gets the into touchdown. the end zone for a TCL touchdown. Just when Prep needed it, they got it, and Hunter Hopman delivered. Well, obviously they needed to get back into this game, but I want to tell you. Late scores in the game sets the stage for next week, too. It gives you a little momentum, gives you some confidence. I mean, here, look how well they executed this play. It, this is about the maybe the 10th Welcome time they the ran point. an inside handoff and they pulled the offside back guard and tackle. What a great play. And Stone McDonald throws it right over to Tyler Rice for a two-point conversion, and now all of a sudden it's 46 to 29. 3.33 left in the game. We'll be back right after this. We are so much more, more than a gym, more than a swimming pool, more than programs and soccer fields, more than yoga and Tabata class. We believe that in healthy communities, people change and grow from exercise to education, volleyball to volunteerism, preschool to prevention. We don't just strengthen bodies, we strengthen minds and inspire spirits. You don't just belong to a gym, you belong to the YMCA of Beaufort County. Covert Air. Honored to provide the heating and air conditioning needs for St. Gregory. Covert Air. Covert Air. For all your heating and air conditioning, no one can compare. So with 333 left in the rival county bowl, Hilton Head Prep lets Thomas Hayward Academy know that they're not going to go qu quietly into the night. They're going to go ahead and stand right up to the end. That was kind of a strange kick, wasn't it? I'm not sure it's what they meant it to be. I mean, um, either it's a squib kick down the sideline and he got a little too much of it, or it was supposed to be just a shorter onside kick and he just didn't catch it right. You see how everybody's lined up over there? I mean, they want to go to the, that side I see what he was trying to do. He was trying to bounce the ball off the ground. Get that big hop. Get the big hop. And it, instead of going laterally, it went vertically. And so it just got away from him. But Didn't hit up high that. enough on the ball. Yeah. It's just kind of the opposite of golf. You don't want to hit above the equator of the ball in golf. But on that kick, you definitely wanted to. Yeah. Caleb Tufts coming in a little bit late here. Gets the call from Logan Thomas. Thomas takes the snap, gives it to J.R. Patterson, who's been a busy young man tonight, and he's going to pick up maybe about three. Is that your golf tip for the night, Chris? That's my golf tip of the what, night. Was that a, golf, I got to write that down. You want to you wanna hit the ball below the equator for golf, and if you want to do football and get it to pop up in the air with that big bounce, hit it above the equator of the ball. Below, below the equator of in golf. All That's right. my only golf I, tip I'm I getting gotta, tonight. i got to remember that. That and hit the back of the ball with the front of the club. That always works, too. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in the spare time? Are you a golf instructor, too? I'll tell you. Um, well, we don't need to go into that right <laughs> now. Play right up the middle. Number, Number five, Zach Bond gets Number a big Kenny Equity Ventures there. first down. Well, not, nice fake there by first the quarterback, down. Logan Thomas. Looked like the play was going the other way, and he handed it right up first the middle, and before anybody five. knew it, Bond had a first down. Salty Dog Cafe, come join us at the Salty Dog Cafe at South Beach Marina or our new location in Tanger 2 and get your Salty Dog t-shirt at the Salty Dog t-shirt factory or anytime at saltydog.com. And number six, River Pender breaks it up over the middle and he's down almost to Prep's 30 yard line for another Big Equity Ventures first down. Well, if I'm the head coach of either one of these squads, I'd be real pri pr proud of them. I mean, they, they both played well. They put points on the board. They obviously played better than they did in the opening week. Both teams had their moments, particularly in the first half. But now it's getting a little ragged. But that's what it would be expected with such a the heat index being so high and these guys going both ways. Well, and, you know, for like we talked about with Coach Nick Schuford before the game started, you know, it's been a short preseason for these teams they haven't had the opportunity to work outside as much as they'd like due to the heat index and the skisa rules and you know they're just they're still getting their feel for what's going on logan thomas not sure if that was a broken play or not 
But that's going to lose a few. Mike Rickenbaugh Chevrolet, before you buy, give us a try. I'm just wondering how Logan Thomas is staying out there. <laughs> Number one, he's run, he's run from sideline to sideline, and he's going north and south. You're so right. Oh, my word. Big Equity Ventures, purchasing commercial real estate and assets valued over $2 million. Call Big Equity today at 404-514-3109. Logan Thomas takes a high snap. And that was Brandon Davis who came in and got the carry there. Nice run by Brandon. Number 12, Gage Hurlbutt, once again on the stop for the Dolphins. Village Park Homes, your true hometown builder. Close to everything, far from ordinary. Third down and about 12. Logan Thomas looking to make the call. Takes a knee. And he takes a knee. How about that for sports Blue sports? Choice Health That's Plan Medicaid. Game, Keep your kids sports safe sports after sports school sports with a free Boys sports and sports Girls Club membership nine. through Blue Choice Number Health Plan Medicaid. And that's going to conclude the Rival County Bowl. Thomas Hayward Academy, just too many guns for them tonight, and they walk off with a 46 to 29 victory. Not nearly the adventure we had in the first half, Chuck. Teams looked a little tired in the second half, but some good solid play on both ends of the ball for game number two. Oh, definitely you saw some big improvement from the first week in these teams, but you know, what ran them out and was the difference in the game was number 23, J.R. Patterson. We just had a huge, huge game in running. Uh, running. I don't have the final statistics here, but uh, I I'm guessing well over 200 yards. What do you think, Chris? Probably darn close to it. Stay tuned for the post-game show right after this. Covert Air. Honored to provide the heating and air conditioning needs for St. Gregory. Covert Air. Covert Air. For all your heating and air conditioning, no one can compare. Hilton Head Island Recreation Association is a nonprofit organization dedicated to improving the quality of life for people of all ages, committed to monitoring the recreation needs of the community and instituting change where needed. Island Rec has the only public pool on the island, sports camps year-round, all-day summer camp, before and after school care, family fun events, open gym, and adult activities. Visit our website, call, or stop in to learn more about how Island Rec can improve your quality of life. I want my kids to have access to health care I can trust. That's why I'm glad I chose Blue Choice Health Plan Medicaid. They coordinate my family's healthy connection services, remind me to get my kids shots and checkups, and give me approved added benefits like a car seat at no cost. That sure makes it easier to get the right health care for me and my kids. Get the care you need when you need it with Blue Choice Health Plan Medicaid. If you're building or renovating your home, we have all the appliances you'll ever need. With kitchen, laundry room, and outdoor appliances from more than 50 manufacturers, including Thermador, KitchenAid, and GE, our new showroom will help you envision your design. Only selling appliances, our experienced staff recommends the best products based upon your needs. We offer competitive pricing, delivery, and factory certified installers. Visit our convenient Mid-Island showroom or see us on the web at billywoodappliance.com. Home is that magical spot where weekends happen. It's tea parties and superheroes. It's one more bedtime story. It's your first, your last, and everything in between. Home is where you belong. We get it. Whether it's your first home, your next home, or your dream home, we want to build you the very best home for your life. Let us help you get started. VillageParkHomes.com. Close to everything. Far from ordinary. And we welcome you into the post-game sh show here at the po Covert Air Bowl Series. Coach Nick Shuford, your team was really solid tonight. They picked up right where they left off last week. They played hard tonight. Um, you know, we made some mistakes, but the effort was definitely there, and um, they just kept grinding. 
We talked before the game started about the running game, how well you did it last week, and you didn't pass it really all that much. And this week, you know, you gave me a little sly smile before you left, and you came out right away gunning the ball. Yeah, I mean, we've got some playmakers. We might as well get them the ball as much as possible, right? We certainly did in the first half. What did we have, Chuck? 61 points in the first Six, half, 61 points in the first half, Coach. Coach, it's the second game of the year. Generally, that's when we see big improvements in team from the first week to the second week. What did you do during the week to get your players to perform at the level they did today? Same old, same old, man. We went right back to work Monday. We're not changing anything up. Um, you know, just every week, getting back at it. What did you learn about this team tonight that maybe you weren't sure about? I uh, know. I know these guys got a lot of heart, and, uh, you know, they're going to give it everything you got for four quarters. Well, with that said, to the victor go the spoils. Gentlemen, congratulations. Chuck, Woo! if you'd be kind enough to hand them the trophy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! The Rival County Bowl champions, Thomas Hayward Academy. Congratulations. We'll be back with the MVP award right after this. When it comes to air conditioning, bigger is not always better. An oversized system uses too much energy and it won't reduce the humidity levels, leading to dampness, mold, and microbacterial growth. Take this environmental tip from Covert Air. Big Equity Ventures is looking to purchase your commercial or residential real estate assets, commercial income producing businesses, new luxury car dealerships for sale, or any other appraisable asset currently worth and currently valued at over $2 million or more that is owned free and clear by highly motivated and cooperative sellers. For more information, contact us now. Visit our website at BigEquityLLC.com, email us at info at BigEquityLLC.com, or call us at 404-514-3109. Sports Zone, located in the heart of Bluffton, is the place for all team uniforms, school uniforms, trophies, awards, banners, embroidery, signage, vehicle lettering, screen printing, and magnetics. Small orders or large orders, we can do it all. Sports Zone is locally owned and operated by Doug and Janet Counts. Stop in and see us at 12 Johnston Way in Bluffton, across from the post office, or call us at 843-837-9663. One of the challenges I faced with picking a college was I'm a full-time firefighter, so I knew I would struggle with being able to take classes. TCL offers a flexible schedule, and I was able to complete 90% of my classes online. I earned a business degree in fire administration. I'm currently a lieutenant with the City of Buford Town of Port Royal Fire Department. I'm Ross, and I made it happen, no matter what. And we welcome you into the MVP presentation. Chuck, we had such good play tonight on both offense and defense. We have co-MVPs. You have J.R. Patterson right next to you. I have Zach Bond next to me. I'm going to start with Zach. Great performance by your defense tonight. A lot of penetration, especially early in the game. You put Stone McDonald, their quarterback, on edge. How'd you feel out there tonight? Uh, we were just trying to play physical all night, and uh, we think we executed very good. We had a couple of uh, miss-ups there, a couple of big plays, and uh, that kickoff hurt us a little bit. But... Other than that, I think we did a good job of stopping the you know small runs, and we had a lot of you know three and outs, and uh, just physical, being mean and nasty, but, but keeping it clean, you know, and uh, that's the name of the game, mean and nasty, but keep it clean, and uh, I think we did a good job of that. Feel a little bit more fun than last week? I just love playing football, period, you know, but... Um, Great attitude. Yeah, I mean, I, it's a lot more fun to win than lose, but um, I feel like we played a good game all around, and uh, there's a lot we need to work on, but I feel like we did a good job. Well, co-MVP is J.R. JR Patterson. Patterson. J.R., what was the difference between this week and last week for you? I mean, last week, I mean, I, I really want, I didn't want to run, run the ball like that. But this week, I had to get on it, score some touchdowns, get us some good yards, mm -hmm. you know. Looks like you had some pretty good holes open for you. What do you say about your offensive line? I mean, they're doing a good job. Hard work pays off. Oh, that's right. Hard work pays, pays off, that's for sure. It pays off, so we got two co-MVPs of this game. It's Zach and JR. Here's your trophy, guys. We got, we'll have one for you, Zach, this week. We got only one with us tonight, but it's co-MVP, Zach Bond and JR Patterson. Congratulations, guys. And that concludes our coverage from Dolphin Stadium. Thanks so much for joining us for Chuck Zapak and the entire production crew. I'm Chris Tremblay. We'll see you next time right here on WHHI Sports. <laughs>